13人です。13 people, still, still okay. Okay, 14 names, 14 people, 15 names, okay, 15 people. Okay, so anything I can just ask, I think it's fine. Okay, let's recap our adjectives. All right, so I just ask your uh, adjectives, uh, so you'll try to translate for me. You can type in the chat box, uh, I think most of y'all do that, right? Okay, how do you say um, big, small? Big and small. Okay, okay, okay. okay. again, y'all can just. You can speak, you can just type out also can. Okay, or you can think in your mind, uh, answer in your mind is fine. Okay, yes, it looks like this. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chi-sai. Yeah. Alright, so why do I show you the kanji? You all still remember why? Okay, these are the N5 kanji. Okay, N5 kanji. So it's only N5, the first 100, then I show you all that. If not, uh, I won't show you any higher level ones. If not, it's very difficult. Okay, yeah, so come on. Okay, just start only. Big and small. Um, Hiragana, you all should be more comfortable already. Most of you are uh, what send me your answers, right, of your homework. Return Hiragana, very good. Okay, and I will, again, it's, that's kanji. Okay, N5. Right, uh, this kanji, right, ta, for example, this one, okay, not necessary o, o, right, o, saka, the o, can be die also, okay, the other reading you will see when you learn new words, lah. so don't worry about uh, what are the three, four readings of this kanji, okay, we will know one one at a time. Okay, chisa also, another one is show, uh, which uh, you don't need to know that, I think we have, right, show, setsu, have, uh, xiao suo, did we read that before, somewhere in our vocab, okay, uh, but don't worry about that, okay, basically the adjectives lesson four will do. Okay, next pair of adjectives, okay, right now big small in case you're not sure. Okay, all from lesson four. Textbook vocabulary, okay, kyo kasho no. Uh, lesson four, okay, big small. Next pair, can I have uh, expensive and cheap? What is expensive, what is cheap? Takai, expensive. Okay, very good. Okay, you all can type out also. All right, takai and... Chutomatu ni. Today, a lot of people, but it's okay. Okay, yeah, takai. Okay, you notice, uh, if you notice the pattern already, the that oh, usually it's a kanji and then there's a hiragana outside. Yeah, why the hiragana is not, this E here, uh, the last alphabet here, it's not part of kanji because we can do negative it. Then we cancel the E and change to kunai, right? You still remember that? Yeah, the, the kanji is not affected, in other words. Okay, this takai, takai expensive. Okay, how about cheap? Okay, so yeah, again, think in your mind, no? yeah, so just uh, revising what we learned before, yeah. Okay, don't worry if you forget, uh, because, uh, yeah, it's not your type of answer, very good. Okay, yeah, see, cheap. Okay, again, I write in kanji because it's N5 kanji. Okay, there are other reading again, this one can be ko, ko, uh, this one will be an, okay, yeah, that one, something you will learn in the future, okay. Okay, we also got the opposite of takai, right, there's another one. Because expensive can be also be high, right? Takai high and low will be anyone? Give you a clue. Yeah, hikui. Okay, hikui. Okay, just recap only. Uh, this is low. Okay. Uh describing height. We'll use that later also. Okay, two four. Next next pair that involves N5 kanji is a uh, new and old. A new place, an old place. Hmm. Okay, I'm sure most of you know. Can I ask also what's the yeah very good? What's the kanji of new and old? Okay, it's N5, huh? but I'll think about it. Okay, let me know if I write wrong. Sometimes I write wrong in Chinese also. Correct. Okay, atarashi and furui. Correct. All right. Okay. Can furui. All right. I think it's these are the three pairs of N5 kanji that you need to know. That is in N5. Okay, the rest of adjective I don't think is N. It's not N5 kanji, right? For example, like difficult. How to say difficult? Easy. Okay, this romaji. Uh. Some of them may not master hiragana yet, so I just yeah, correct. Mu, muzukashi, muzukashi, muzukashi. Okay, muzukashi e because uh, she is she uh, e is e. Uh, e adjective always end with an e or or i uh, Okay, or some people call it i. Some call it e. Okay, muzukashi. Okay, easy will be. Okay, yeah, Sashi. All right, I think there will be at least 20 we learned, 20 plus we learned last lesson, but yeah, uh, some if you memorize half already, it's very good. Okay, next pair, good and bad. 
Okay, all this will be used in Japan a lot, I guess. Good and bad. Okay, good can be E or Yoi. Okay, bad is Warui. All right, so I give you pass and uh, pass after pass off. Okay, do you all remember all this? Okay, one more pair, I think. Let me think. Um, what is it? I can't remember already. Oh, no. I thought of it just now. Good, bad. Anyone remember? Good, bad. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, mention expensive. I'm sure there's one pair of. Uh, oh, yeah, hot and cold. That one is the most. Yeah, yeah, quite, quite hot and cold. Uh, that one is the first one you should learn, actually. Yeah, because Japan is. Every time I go, it's always cold. So, okay, con and cold will be. Okay, atsui. Okay, and samui. Okay, atsui, samui. Okay, there's also the second ko, which is the uh, four things. Anyone remember? Right? Ko hi wa. Ninjunin. Okay, that's about. That's 10. Close to 10. 18 people. Yeah, su. Okay, a lot bit longer, but we need to use them in Japan after all. Tsunetai. Okay, so tai. Okay, the difference is uh, one is for okay. I, example, uh, Singapore wa samui desu. Okay, kohi wa tsumetai desu. Coffee is cold. Okay, why why there's two cold? Uh? actually, if you look at the kanji, uh, samui is actually han. Uh, as in han leng the han the yeah. So it's a bit different. Then tsumetai is leng. So there's a bit different cold. Uh, in other words, okay. Yes, I believe these are all the adjectives you need to know in elementary one, right? I identify those that you don't really need to know yet. But I think some of y'all know the rest also. If you have the time, please memorize all. And five na adjectives. Okay, five na adjectives. Okay, you remember adjectives that are e adjective and na adjective, right? Okay, different rule applies to them. I think y'all know that already. Okay, first na adjective, how to say healthy. Healthy. Right, your sushi, right? Genki. Okay. Oh, genki desu ka, right? How are you? Are you healthy? Okay, then uh, ni hao ma. Actually, from this adjective, uh, genki. Next one will be uh, quiet. Oops. She. Shizuka. Okay, Shizuka. So, really, we just repeating what we learned before. Uh, again, to see how many you remember. Okay? Uh, if I don't ask you all, I think you all, after two, three weeks, you'll probably forget also. <laughs> Okay, Tsugiwa, next one will be kind, kind person describing. They always like to say Japanese are kind, uh, I think true to a large extent. Shinsetsu. Shinsetsu, hi, Okay, Nihonji wa Shinsetsu Okay, not 100%, I can tell you that, but uh, I don't know. Don't know that. Okay, Shinsetsu desu. And the last two will be beautiful, clean. Kirei desu. Kirei, hi. Kirei desu. Kirei desu. Okay. Although, uh, remember they put a long vowel. Actually, kirei. You drag the le la. Kirei. 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 Okay, the, the, your, your, shop, your soap. Bread, your soap, right? Kirei, kirei. Yeah, kirei, kirei. Last one is famous. Yoning. Famous. You. You may. You may, hi. You may desu. Okay. If you see the kanji, it's actually yoming. Uh. Okay. Additional info, I think I told you about the particular note to join two things, right? And uh, okay, how to say a famous person? Can you all try this? Famous person. Okay. You may. Na. Yeah, Nahito. Okay. Can. So, Na is the to modify a noun. Nahito, in this case, is a person, a famous person. Okay. You may Nahito. Okay. But there are some verbs, some words, are. Uh, that we have one noun like this one. We also make, we also have okay. It's called you may jin. Okay, this is another meaning already. A bit a bit more like celebrity. Okay, not necessary all the time. You can combine become one word lah, Okay. Yeah, this is additional info lah, So we all don't really need to know lah. You may jin celebrity or some star or something. Fa famous person. Okay, this is literally famous person. Yeah, use the adjective to modify the person. Famous person, tall person, short person. You may not hit Yeah, very good. Maybe it's Yasashi. Yeah, yes, actually, can Yasashi got uh, we consider two meaning. La. Yeah. Yasashi can be kind also. Kind, gentle, that kind. Yeah. Kind and gentle, closer to gentle. La, because, uh, yeah, can, can also count. Can mm -hmm. All right, so these are actually the five nine adjectives that will be tested in your elementary one test. Okay, and E adjective, I think these are the 12, is it? Yeah, about 12. Okay, and those are written in kanji because they are in N5 kanji. Okay, you may not need to know if you don't want to know the kanji is fine. Yeah, but these are the first, the most easiest kanji that 
you should know first like, before you know the harder ones. Okay. Yeah, I was repeating the end fighting uh, cause uh yeah, identify for you all uh, then easier. You know, every, every time every word has a kanji actually, like muzukashi is N4, uh, it looks something like that. Some of y'all can recognize uh. So now I forget how to write also. None, uh, I think it's something like that. Okay, then N4. Do you want to know uh, no harm? Okay, those are comfortable with kanji or Chinese characters you can memorize. Uh. Okay, even hot and cold also is considered under N4. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on to the next slide. Okay, in summary, right, we're going to describe something. Let's describe Apple today. Dingo. Okay, Dingo this. Let me ask the class, how do you say a, a big Apple? Okay, you all think a bit a while or write slowly. Okay, so everyone can try to think. Huh? Okay, not difficult, right? You need to know your adjective. Huh? Right? Okay, Dingo. Okay, Dingo. And next one, uh, yeah. Okay, very good. So you keep mentioned. Uh, Okina Ringo. Actually, uh, I'm not gonna tell, I'm not supposed to tell this uh, but in intermediate two you'll learn that OK can be a nine adjective. Okay, big and small can be a nine adjective also, but don't worry about that first. Yeah, it's only for big and small special case. Okina Ringo and Chisa na Ringo can also. Okay, big and small. Huh? What adjective? Uh yeah, it's uh it can be an E or nine adjective. Again, E E as in this one. Uh, or you can say I adjective uh, and nine adjective. Okay. Kyoshi, uh, single one, okay, anyway, yeah. Okay, next is a nine adjective. How do you say a beautiful apple? Kire na ringo, correct, okay, because grammatically rules are, uh, uh, the grammar rule is nine adjective, you must have a nine. If not, it's not funny, okay? Sometimes cannot explain one, it's like Chinese, right? I ask you all, uh, depends on the feeling. So there's no conjunction between adjective and the noun for each. Yes, you're right, they're not supposed to have. If you put, it will be grammatically wrong. But I do hear them, uh, but but it's wrong, uh, it's wrong. Okay, that's all I can tell you because the uh, textbook do allow. And minus mark for this kind of small mistakes in, in test or written. Okay, conversation never mind, uh, but then they don't allow it. Okay. All right, next is Japanese apple or Japan apple. Okay, simply just. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, Nihon no Ringo. Okay, any questions? Okay, so do you see a pattern? E adjective, don't add anything, yeah. Somebody mentioned, right? Do you put anything uh no conjunction? Yeah, no conjunction. Then this one you will need a particle, nah, this one you need a note because these are nouns. Okay, this is a nine adjective, it's an e adjective. Okay, can okay. right, so it applies for all the e and na and nouns, yeah, to be grammatically correct. Nah. Okay, in in yeah, okay, I'll just tell you, don't tell you the incorrect one. Sometimes it works, but okay. Next, um, if big is okay, what is not big? Okay, I write right or better uh, for everyone. Okay. Okay, kunai. Very good. Okay, you need to know the rule is like that, uh, because Japanese use kunai a lot, so. Okay, kunai. All right, okay, kunai is the negative of whatever adjective you want to say. Okay, big becomes not big. Okay, how about quiet? Quiet become not quiet. Okay, Shizuka des change to okay. There wa arimasen. Okay, again, uh, there wa arimasen looks like that. Uh. Even though there wa, you use the particle wa, which is the ha. Okay, there wa arimasen. Okay, ten. All right, I think that's all for what we learned last lesson. We mostly remember your adjectives. Okay, we got adverbs also, right? We don't want to say big or small only. We want to have something in, in the middle, a little bit big, not so big, very big. Okay, your very will be. Can anyone tell me the adverb for very? Okay, we got textbook both always say totemo. correct. Okay, Thai hand totemo. Yeah, both can work. Okay, Thai totemo. And your not so will be, let me write here because got something else to write. Okay, not really, not so will be your amari or sonani. Okay, you must end with a negative, which uh, that I show you amari sonani. sonani. Okay, you can say like that. Uh, amari. Okikunai means not so big. Okay, behind must have a nine, uh, negative, uh, negative. Okay, that means uh, if an nine adjective, you will say, Amari shizuka de wa arimasen, not so quiet. Okay, not so quiet. Bushi hen anjing. Yeah, okay. Eh, oki, uh, okikunai, no need the yo, do you add a yo by mistake? Okikunai. Yeah, we drop the I and change to kunai, that's all. Okay. Uh, because in the textbook, 
Mm. On page 53, it says note for number 9. When the negative is a double I dash, then it should be yo I. Okay, correct, correct. Okay, that is actually applicable for the this adjective E only. Yeah, this adjective only. Ah, e, okay, okay. Yeah, makes sense really. E is good. Yeah, okay, thanks for mentioning. Uh. So E is good, okay, but how to say not good? Okay, you want to negative it, you can only do yokunai. Yeah, that's what they're trying to say. Mm. Okay, yeah, only for this adjective, not for big or small or any other adjective, only this. Okay, because uh, it's a very special case that uh, you see here. Okay, when it's E, we want to go to negative, you have to say yokunai, you have to follow the yo yi pattern. Yeah. Okay, the only special case there. Huh? Okay, lastly, we have a lot of questions uh, last lesson where we got do. Okay, I scribble here. Huh? So we asked something like Nihon wa JP, uh, Japan. Nihon wa do desu ka? Okay, do desu ka itself is used alone for saying how is Japan. Okay, JP. Uh, you can change JP to anything. How is the food? How is Singapore? How is this place? How is that thing? How is that person? Okay, do desu ka? And next grammar we learn is do na. Okay, do na must follow a what? Anyone remember? Okay, it's just grammar rule. Uh, we must follow a noun. Okay, do na. Example. But, uh, yeah, question? Sorry, yeah. Uh, anyone? I heard something. Oh, like, uh, basho. Do na basho. Uh, okay, yeah, basho also can. Okay, uh, basho is a place. Yeah, can. Okay, what kind of country is Japan? What kind of place is Japan? Can. Yeah. Anything similar can. Okay, yeah, we are not limited to one. Kuni is country, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can basho also can. Tokoro also can. What kind of place? Please, I think, uh, Japan is a good thing. Japan is a good thing. Yeah, so, so all works, uh, all can. Okay, we're asking the same thing actually. So, very good. Yeah, you have different words of the same meaning, you can, or similar meaning. Okay, last one is don't know kurai. Okay, be careful. Don't know kurai is not used alone. It's mu it must follow a adjective. Okay, don't know kurai must follow adjective. So, you see a pattern between three, these three. Okay, they are similar, but uh, the grammatically, the grammar, grammar are different. You don't know kurai, okay, that's ka, for example, means what? How big is Japan? Okay. Okay, so don't know Christ how, but oh, but must follow an adjective. Huh? Okay, because do is also how, but it's used alone. Okay, usually alone. Huh? Okay, then dona is uh, what kind of, must follow a noun, just like English, what kind of something. Okay, okay. sorry, I'm very small over there. Yeah, that's roughly all we learned last lesson. Okay, Shitsumon Garimasu, got any question? Okay, if no question, yeah, actually lesson four actually not, it's not difficult. Uh, after a few a few weeks and some homework, I think it's easy for you already. Okay, she could I homework four. Okay, I'm sorry, number question number two is uh our syllabus, huh? But some of y'all tried very good. Alright, the bot by uh Kai Mashta. I just write for your first one. Huh? Okay, Kai Mashta. Yeah, don't worry about that. Lah. We will learn in lesson six actually or seven. Okay, so uh G show Kai Mashta. I bought a Dictionary. This particle is to join a noun and a verb. Okay, particle O. Uh, it's where is O. Okay, but this spell is W O. O. Yeah, it's in the last three characters of a hiragana. Wa O. Mm, that that part. Okay. Yeah, but we ignore this question. Worry number two. Okay, let me have the first four person to tell me the answer. First five person. Okay, number one, Ichiban. Eh, Brian, 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 can you read for us your? Okay, maybe you got two sentences. Uh, you read the first one. Uh, skip. Sorry, skip. Oh, skip. Uh. Okay, I skip you. Eh, Kaden, Kaden. Can you just read the whole thing? Uh? Yeah, this is number one. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Can you try? No problem. Wrong also is okay. I will, I will correct you. Uh, Singapore Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, Singapore. Okay, uh, we need a uh, wa. Singapore wa. Okay, based on what you say, don't have the wow, so never mind. I can understand it perfectly. Okay, again, Singapore is katakana, so you all don't really need to know how to write. Okay, if you want, you can copy. Shinga, Shinga, Oru. I think po, ah, po go long power. Oru. Yeah, that's how you write. Okay, if not, just use hiragana for practice. Lah. Because hira, we're not going to teach you katakana and iwana. Shinga, Oh, okay. Because long power, uh, it's supposed to u, po ru. Okay. What is the sorry? Can I ask? Yes. Sure. Uh, what is the dash for? Oh, it's just drag only. Drag. 
Okay. So is it like the the small zi? A small zi is double consonant, correct? It's like what we learned in the first lesson. So, yeah, small zi is for silent, which means when you read, you must silent it. Or read the double consonant. Okay, small zi like asate, right? Okay, so you see, we, have, we know how to read a, we know how to read uh, sa, we know how to read te, right? As, asate. Okay, but if there's a small zi, right, it will follow the t, the alphabet after. So this case double T. Okay. So asat. So you have to read asat. Yeah, so what's the difference between that and the dash? Oh, it's 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 uh it's just different word only. Oh okay, but it's yeah. like the same. Correct. Okay, the dash, by the way, huh, dash is katakana only. Yeah, hiragana will be long by word, just like the dash you see. Okay. So like that, how how are you gonna read this word? Okay, you're supposed to read Tokyo. You see, I drag here Tokyo. Okay. But when you see a double, you see a small c or double consonant, you don't drag, it's, 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 it's just different way of reading, that's all. A different word also. And asate, yeah, asate. So there's no asate because it's not, for example, if there's such a word, you'll be asate and asate. It's just a different word in the dictionary, that's all. Yeah. Uh, so like, like, poru is right. like drag. Yeah, uh, yeah have to drag. Singapore, Singapore. Right, right. Okay. So I give you an example like this one. Uh. This one, right? You all know. Can I tell, ask the class what is this word? Sure, I see everywhere. Uh. Ramen. Yeah, correct. Ramen. Okay, actually, it's have a dash after the la. So ramen. Yeah. Correct. Right, right. So your menu do have this uh. So it's just an it's just a name for the thing. Hmm. It's just a vocab. Okay. All right. Uh, Elin, Elin San, can you tell me how to say how is Hong Kong? Oh, Hong Kong. Ireska. Do reska. Sorry. Do reska. Okay, very good. Hong Kong do desu Okay, so somebody mentioned the dash is more like an O key in hiragana. Yeah, the O key also got dash here, right? Okay, the O key, the dash is here. Now. So we say O key because uh, it's double O, long power. Okay, in fact, you go to Japan like I told you before, Osaka, they put Osaka with a dash on top. Okay, we don't like to spell out the whole thing, like, Osaka. It's not very, very, very ugly. Okay, very ugly. Yeah. Not, not very nice looking. Like my, like my name also, right? Okay, I see looks like this, uh, but actual fact is like that. Okay, or rather, if you want to spell in in uh, texting, uh, if you text someone, right? You taro, yeah, it's actually supposed to be like that one. Yeah, okay. okay those are long vowels, right? Just try one. Correct. Okay, Hong Kong wa do desu ka? Okay, Hong Kong wa do desu ka? Ah, do also another one, do desu ka? Do desu ka? Okay, okay. Alright, so more or less like that, huh? You double check answer. So, okay, we skip number two. Let me go to number three now. Sanban wa e. Uh, you know, son, are you there? You know? mm, uh, Very good. Okay. Watashi no. Okay, Machi is your town. Okay, we can write in kan kanji since N5 if you recognize the kanji. Huh? Machi. Wa shizuka desu. Okay. Ken? Okay, very good. Number four. Just a question. Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, can you just ask the is Kimura, is Tanaka kind? Okay, then Glenn will do the number the answer for this reply. Okay, you all can type out if you want. Yeah, but. For me? Uh, hold on. Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, are you there? Okay, I'm not sure if he's typing or not, but um, Glenn, uh, Glenn you can try first the, either the Q or A. I think you do the Q. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Kanaka san wa yasashi nahiko desu ka? Okay, very good. Okay, Tanaka san wa. Okay, uh, yasashi, then you don't need the anything really. Yasashi, oh. right? Yeah, e adjective, uh, i adjective. If you want to use the other kind, shinsetsu, then you use the na. Okay, shinsetsu, I think the, is it typing? See, wow, okay, just nice. Shinsetsu nahiko desu ka? Very good. Okay, no, we're saying height so that's right. Ah, uh, you can, yes, actually, it's okay to say that. Height so that's, yeah. Okay, then, uh, okay. Ian? Yeah, no problem. Uh, yasashi, uh, no, we don't use the no. First, yasashi, e adjective. Uh, yeah. Unless yasashi is the noun, then if it's a noun, you can. Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, okay, Ian, Ian san, can you? Uh, yes, she is very kind. Yes, she, oh, hi. Uh, Kanojo wa Shizuka desu. 
Oh, there's a sorry. There's also very right. Yeah. Uh, Kanojo wa uh, uh, totemo shizuka desu. Totemo, very good. Shinsetsu. Shinsetsu desu. Shinsetsu desu. Hi. Okay. The adjective sounds similar, right? Okay. Shinsetsu desu. Yeah. Shizuka quiet, I guess. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> can can. Yeah. Okay. Again, like uh, you have different answers, no worries, uh, because uh, in real life doesn't really matter uh, as long as you. We are trying to say the same thing, right? Height so that's shortcut. Okay, although they actually don't allow height so that's, you all still remember that in the textbook? Did we mention that before? Okay, anyone remember that before? Don't tell me everyone don't know. Yeah, okay, we, we don't height so that's for adjective question, uh, grammatically wrong, uh, but we can understand for sure, of uh, course. Okay, remember we use so that's for Nihonjin desu ka? Okay, uh, yeah, another sensei desu ka? Yeah, those are nouns. Teacher, uh, Japanese, all announced. Okay, but actually, if they sort of don't really allow. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, again, again, I, I do hear, hear, have, la. okay, but people, people, they don't really have. Yeah, they minus, they, they, they don't really allow grammatically. Okay, number five. Uh, Irina, Irina san? Getting longer already. この雑誌は面白い Correct. Okay. the e sound disappeared. Okay, can I see the object correct or not? What's the object again? Shinbun. Ah, okay. Shinbun, newspaper. Okay, Zashi is a magazine. Yeah, but very close. They all look the same. Okay, next person, let me have um Hey, Giselle, Giselle, son, local man. Okay. Sorry, I'll uh, skip. Yeah, I see you, no problem. Uh, let me go to Ginny. Ginny, son. So, no, Kuramono, uh, Uishi, so she, yes, he is. Okay, very good. Okay, so no, Kuramono, fruits is Kuramono, correct, wa? E, Oishi, so she, Yes, that's correct. Okay, right. Okay, this is acceptable. Uh, I'm sure most of you. Oishi des. <laughs> no. Oishi des. Okay, that one will be better. But I tell you, you are correct also. That one you learn in uh, how to say in term, uh, elementary two plain form. Okay, it actually works also without the des. Des is more complete uh, because like people can say like sushi wa oishi. Okay, can also. Yeah, this is called a plain form uh, It's a casual form. Yeah, which we're going to learn in the future. Okay, not for now, but yeah, we stick to this. And after, remember, the purpose of Soshite is to join two sentences, right? Okay, however, after you use Soshite, there are still two sentences. So it comes, Soshite comes after a full stop. Okay, Oishi des, Soshite, comma, Yasui des. Okay, right? So uh, we're not very particular about punctuation, but we still tell you roughly uh, because mix and match for margin. Uh, okay, if I, I'm not sure if I told you all before, Omoshiroi, Omoshiro kunai des, there's no ka. Okay. For question like, uh, if it's a question, right, you can either put a full stop or a question mark. Okay, not sure I told you that before. It both are fine. Although traditional and formal Jap uh, formal Japanese writing, right, uh, question must put full stop. Okay, like oishi deska full stop. Okay, all the deska deska all must be a full stop. Okay, like Hong Kong wa do deska full stop. Uh, proper Japanese, uh, formal Japanese. Yeah. But question mark is everywhere now. Okay, any question? Okay, in case you want to know number two, uh, number two. Yesterday also have a teacher. Yeah, Kino, eh, atarashi jisho. I think you almost of you know what this. Atarashi jisho o kaimashita. Okay. Yeah, or watashi wa. Uh, Kino. Okay, never mind. Time we haven't done. I think that one is out of syllabus really. So don't worry about that. Okay, any questions? Okay, simple. Okay, let's go on. Very, very repeat number two. Number two, okay. I'll give you, uh, let's secure a number of answers. Okay, best is the person must mention first. Watashi wa. Okay, sorry, I draw here. Watashi wa. Kino. Atarashii jisho o kaimashita. Okay? Yeah, this is a jisho o kaimashita. Yeah, you all know it's dictionary. Yeah, so it looks like that. You don't care about it. So your match is for below one, huh? Sumimasen. Do we need to put no between atarashi and jisho? Okay, good question. Let me ask the grass. What do you all think? Do you need a atarashi jisho, atarashi no? Yeah, if no, why not? Yeah, okay. Okay, no need, right? Because of uh, grammar. This one. If it's an E adjective, you don't need anything here. Nothing. Okay? If it's a noun, then you must have a note. Yeah, that, that's the grammar. Okay? Oh, okay. 
Okay, although uh, spoken, sometimes they do say that uh, it is, it's still not too bad, although by right it's incorrect. All right, uh, going to the hiragana table, I think I probably after this lesson, uh, I'll leave it to you all at your own pace really. Okay, we hahi fu and probably the fu is quite one of the hardest to write here, this one. Okay, then 30 already. Yeah, probably next lesson I'll tell you about this as well. Okay, fu, let's take a look at hahi fu and Okay, ha is actually ha. But here our particle wa, right? We also write like this, yeah. It's supposed to be ha. Okay. But as a particle is read as wa, I think you all know that already. Right? Since everyone did your homework, most of you did your homework in here, right? okay. So just, just copy a few times, it's quite easy. Okay, next is he. What does he look like? Okay, write a few times after make sure it's consistent and can tell you that uh, every time I write a bit different also, right? Okay, it will be slanted, tilted to the left side. Okay, you won't be perfectly straight on, so be careful. Okay, someone say it looks like a horseshoe. Okay, Fu is one of the hardest to write. Okay, the variation I write is like that. Right? Actually, it's uh, four strokes, uh, three to the right side and one to the left. Okay, see my order different. I don't, I don't know why, maybe you want a left hander, I don't know. Okay, but next uh, variation is you can draw like that first, a tree first, then do the two dots. It also, it's also okay. Yeah, it's the same reason I always tell, tell you how can it merges. Uh, some of the fonts is, is like that. Okay, it looks like Xiao. Uh. Somebody mentioned it looks like Xiao. Yeah, quite similar. Okay. All right. Hey, nothing to say. Hey, just draw like that. Uh. Okay. It looks like upside down thick. Okay, left stroke should be shorter than the right one. Like that. Okay. Left shorter than the right one. Okay, Ho. Okay, take a look at Ho and Ha. Uh, ha, what's the difference? All right, I'm sure you notice already. Right? It's just one more stroke on top. Uh. Okay. All right, the order doesn't really matter, uh, but Follow the textbook won't go wrong. Uh, equal sign first, then like this. Okay. Okay, I think quite easy. You again, hiragana is the same thing as what we always do. Just try to do your homework with hiragana, you will improve very fast. Huh? Right? So we'll do some reading. Okay, mami mu memo. Um yeah, I think you can see how uh, next lesson if I'm gonna go through the rest one shot. Okay, because I think six lessons really so far, yeah, based on here, like five a week, 30 already, okay. Mosan Jun, eh? Already got 30 kilogram of learning. That's the minimum pace, huh? I hope you all, those who are not comfortable, please try to catch up. Oh, I'm in a foot there. Uh, it's already raining, huh? Is it raining at your side? Bishan is raining, okay, by the way. Maybe the whole Singapore raining, right? Okay, Kaiwa, eh? Kaiwa is conversation. Okay, this is the N5 kanji. So I would like you all to take note as much as you can. Okay, why? We have seen this before. Let me ask, okay, again, uh, N5 kanji is the first 100 primary one kanji. Okay, try to learn it if possible, although it's optional now. Okay, it's optional now, but I will always tell you all to learn. Okay, just randomly asking. Uh, those who know, just tell me how do you read this. Sorry, handwriting very bad. Kaisha. Hi, Kaisha. Okay, so. So sorry. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, Kaisha is Kaisha. Okay, and yeah, Kaisha means what? Company. Company, very good. Have I also told you if you swap these two words become shakai? Shakai is society. Society, <laughs> really, really. Same as Chinese. Okay, so uh, shakai is considered a high level word, but um, but I just show you all. If you know Chinese, not bad. Okay, next uh, another kanji word is uh this one. Okay, this is also N five. I know there's a lot of strokes uh. I can talk about the weather now like this. Yeah, how about this? We seen it before, roughly. Then what? Hi. Very good. Then what? Okay, do you see everything keep repeating? Uh, it's the same word again and again. The wa is the hua la basically. Then what is phone, right? Phone. Another word. Okay, sorry, uh, like too many to play. How about this one? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I don't expect everyone to recognize all this kanji, uh, but uh, I'm sure definitely. Maybe half the class will know. Okay, okay. these are N5 kanji, which uh, is good to know <laughs> because if you cannot learn the, you don't know the first hundred, you cannot learn the next two thousand, which uh, takes some time. Okay, next, Michio Kiku. Okay, Michio Kiku. You can write down the kanji. Michi is this one. We've seen it before, right? Which means a uh, way or road or street. Okay, usually road, road or way, road or way. Okay, street is more to machi, sorry. Okay, machi is the town. Okay, michio, this o is the particle that you will learn in the future. It's just to join the noun and the verb. Okay, the kiku is this. 
It's from the verb kikimas. Okay, sorry, I read. Mm, should you all go and write this one? Okay, never mind, I'll do right first one. Okay. Means ask way or ask the road. Okay, kiku, kiku or kikimas uh, is the verb for asking or listen. Because you see the auto, right? Anyway, it's ask or listen. Uh, so just say ask uh, in this context. Okay, and this Michi, we know. Uh, the other reading is anyone remember? Other than Michi, we got your the northern prefecture. Or oh, your martial arts, right? Uh, Kido. Kido, right? Yeah, your, your Hokkaido, your Judo, Aikido. Okay, let, let's take a look at the conversation. Okay, do not try to let your read. Let me see. Okay, I just read, read through, lah, huh? so you just listen. Okay, so the Lim San is talking to a stranger. Ano, Sumimasen. Okay, what is Ano? Uh, Ano, yeah. it's a Hokkaido. Uh, Hokkaido. Hokkaido. meaning, uh, Ano. Uh, because Japanese, when you talk to them, uh, they will try to reply you instantly. Lah. Right, so when they reply you, but they don't have answer, they, uh, no, they will know, they will, yeah, they will say something like that. Okay, I know at all, which you will see later. Sumimasen, Sumimasen is, excuse me. Okay, anyway, this is in our textbook. Huh? So you can refer to it right now. You can open your textbook and take a look. Below, there's a translation. So I didn't put it, put a translation. Okay. I didn't put a translation inside, but I think you all can refer to it. Okay? We try to see, we, we can understand without the translation first. Huh? Yubin kyoku wa dochira desu ka? Yubin kyoku is? Anyone? Yubin kyoku? Yeah, post office. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, yubin kyoku? Okay. Yes, there is yubin kyoku. Huh? Dochira desu ka? Instead of doko desu ka, we use dochira because... Why is that so? More polite. Actually, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's more polite. Okay. Yeah, yonju nana. Okay, Ian san mentioned yonju nana. Uh, yonju nana. For the page 49, 47. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it's more polite. Okay, dochira desu ka? Especially talking to a stranger, it's better to use dochira. Although doko, nothing wrong. Okay, you been kyoku desu ka? Okay, he just repeat again. Uh, is it the post office? Okay, etto, okay, again. Uh, ano biru no muko desu. Okay, biru is building. Uh. Muko is very far behind. Okay, biru no muko means behind that building. Okay, this muko is far, far behind. Like beyond. I think the transition is in beyond. Because we got a, another brief. Okay, what is this Muko thing? Uh? Let me explain in the next slide, I think. Yeah. Sorry, uh, which page shall we on? I think 47. Do you have the book or the PDF now? 47. The white book. Yeah, the white book, sorry, the white book. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, anyone don't have or... I worry that some may be page number different uh, because of second edition and third edition, but you are, it's somewhere there. It's the end of the lesson three, last page of lesson three, before the lesson for vocabulary. Okay, so biru no muko that means the buildings behind. Okay, the note here is apostrophe yes. Huh? So you see, if I say biru no, example, huh? biru no mai means the buildings in front. Mai is in front. Okay, in front. Huh? All this in front, behind, left, right, you will learn in lesson 10. Okay, so I won't tell you much. Huh? Okay, you see, ue is on top. Changmin, okay, on top. Right, shita below. Okay, right, left, in front, behind, you will learn that. Okay, I'll give you an example. Biru no Ushiro means behind that building. Okay, or building the home in because no is apostrophe, yes, but the building's behind. Okay, yeah, yeah don't worry about that. Lesson 10 knowledge, huh? but it's just a preview of positions. Okay, why we need to learn positions? You need to find things. I need to see the, your key is on top of the table, your key is below the chair, your key is the right side of the teacher, right? Your key is. Uh, or rather, finding places. Uh, Uniqlo is on the left of the toilet, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So these are positions that you. I think with the textbook you can see clearer. All these are together. Okay. The right side. Uh, the left side. Sorry. This one. Okay. Uh, okay. We carry on first. On. So that's car. Right. So that's car. I see. Okay. Okay. So it depends on the so that's car. Sometimes the people right. So that's car. If it's a question mark intonation, so that's car. Oh, it becomes like oh really. Okay, but so the scar. If it goes down, uh, so the scar. I see. Okay, so you roughly see these two things. Uh, so the scar. Yeah, I think it's the IC version. Uh, if you see the translation, is that correct? Okay. Yeah, so the scar is like maybe sometimes doubting also. Oh, really? Okay. Or rather, is that so? Uh, is that so? With a question mark tone. Because so is so, right? We learned that before, right? So that's right. Okay, ato. Okay, ato. Uh, not much meaning. It's just an N. I think it's a conjunction. Okay, you don't have it. It's also fine. Ato. Ginko to tosho kan wa doko desu ka? Can I ask the class, what is Ginko? Ginko is the? Bank. Bank. Very good. 
Maryland, Biru, Biru is library or building. Oh, Sorry? building. Oh, I Biru, Biru is building. building. Okay. Biru is building. Uh, okay, so I assume they are, they are these two percent talking here. La. They say it's beyond the building. Okay, Muko is, you're looking for what? The post office, uh, Muko. Okay, it can be behind or beyond. Uh. So I think your textbook say beyond. Okay, Ushiro also can. Ushiro is behind. Yeah, Ushiro is behind. Okay, I think interchangeable a bit. Okay, so I'm not asking particular to which I think everyone know. Okay, where, where is the bank and the library? Toshio Khan is a library. We learned that before. I think bank we haven't really learned it, now, but since it's here, okay. So stranger replied, Eto ginko wa yubin kyoku no tonari desu ne. What is tonari? It's next to you. Yeah, next to. Okay, wow, sorry, my side very noisy. So uh, it's the post office beside. Okay, because no is apostrophe yes uh, i use english a bit uh, no choice uh. okay or you can translate properly uh, it's the beside the post office can can you understand the position okay tonari is beside so it's like post office the pump in uh, because of the order all right again yeah we learned that in lesson 10 more, more on that positions okay all right so that and so you know that so that is to join sentences so that tosho kan wa yubin kyoku no mae desu yubin kyoku no mae mae if you remember is in front okay Post office in front. So my is here. If you see here, my you learn in lesson ten is Qian. Post office the Qian. Okay, where are we are? Post office the Qian. No my. Okay, or post office in front. Can okay. where's the post office? Here? All right, is yeah something like that. Okay, you also digest. Uh, it's not really tested. Uh, this this part is the conversation is we want to show you how it works in real life also. Yeah, and there are a lot of new things that's similar to your what we learned in lesson three. But also got a lot of new things uh, as well. Okay, again, yeah, we learn some new things here. Okay, then demo. Okay, what's demo? What do you see there? Demo is your but. Oh no, it's not like that. Okay, so demo is but. Let me ask the class. You all learned but before, right? What is the other but that we learned before? Guard. Yes, remember? Okay, both can be used. Uh, both can be used. Okay, you can use guard, but it must be after the desk. Okay, desk guard. Yeah, then comma. The punctuation different. Demo can uh, is usually start alone. Okay, demo comma, or it can be but or however lah. Okay, it's like English right? we can use but or however. Yeah, different variation or the same thing. Okay, first we can use demo. We can use ga. We got many other buts also. Okay, next. Tosho kama kyo yasumi desu yo. Okay, kyo is today. Yasumi looks like this in N five. I write on the right side here. This is yasumi. Okay, yasumi means rest. Or it, looks like, yeah. it looks like oyasumi. Is it the same? Ah, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's actually the word of origin is the same. It's actually from here. Like, have a good rest. You're right. Mm. Oyasumi must come from this word. Yasumi. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So, so you don't not, the, the kanji on its own is read, is read as yasumi. Is it correct? Okay, it can, yeah, there's two ways. It can be yasumi or yasu with the mi outside. Both also correct. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Right. Right. There's these two options. Maybe you have seen either. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the kanji, and uh, we'll, we'll learn that very soon also in lesson six. One of the verbs for rest. Okay, Yasumi, that's yo. What is the yo for? Anyone remember? Roughly, how to explain? Like, explain your lale lo like that. You know? <laughs> yeah, correct. Something like that, right? It's close, you know? Okay, I think uh, something like that, right? Or, yeah, yeah, something like that. I also don't know how to explain. <laughs> okay, based on your feeling, lah. okay, your friend tell you, uh, demo, uh, Toshu Kama Kyo Yasumi, that's yo. Uh, something like that, la, the lay or something like that. Okay, I also really cannot explain. Okay, some like I told you before, some people's sentences always got yo at the end, some always got ne at the end. Yeah, so if you know the vocab, more important. This is more like your singlish. Okay. And Chinese also a bit similar, right? We got the no, uh, what other things? Are, okay, la, okay, that kind of thing we also have. Okay, finally finishing it. So it's got again, eh? Do you repeat again? La. Okay, I believe it's the IC, la. so it's got dot dot dot. Okay. Also, the scar also possible. It really depends on intonation. Oh, really? Because you tell me it's rest. I want to go there. You tell me it's rest. Also, the scar. Oh, 真的吗? Oh, really? Or oh, is that so? Okay. Too many translation. Tony Kaku, by the way, another conjunction that if you don't have it works also. Okay. But usually we want to change subject. We use by the way. By the way, domo arigato. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. All the translation is below. Any question regarding this part? I believe um. It's a bit trickier compared to what you learn in textbook, right? What we learn in lesson three. Yeah, but, but no issues, I think you can understand. 
Okay, more practical situations. Okay, next we still got one. Um, okay, these are uh, yeah, what you learn in lesson 10 positions. Positions are behind, in front, you will learn. Okay, give you an example. Let's say I say I use my again. My means in front. Uh. A no my means in front of A. A or A the chairman uh, because my is chairman. Okay, I write this down. Ote Araiwa. Ote Araiwa. Daiso no my desk. Means what? Sorry. Yeah. The toilet is in front of Daiso. Correct. Can you understand that? Okay, toilet what? Toilet is Daiso no my. Daiso the chairman. Okay, Daiso is in front or in front of Daiso. Yeah, something like that. Okay, position will be useful in lesson 10. Uh. Then you will able to find things, find places really. Okay. Sensei, this is the same as Namae. Ah, yeah, yeah, correct. Namae also have the same Mai because actually Ming Qian actually a bit like saying front name la, or first name or something like that. Yeah, it's the same, something like that. You're right. Mm -hmm. The, the Qian is can be the same Mai. Yeah, yeah so it's, I, then I write here la, since N5. Huh? Namae. Okay, sometimes you don't need the Mai also can for name. Okay, you remember, if you don't know about the Kimino Nawa, they just use Na also can for name. Have you ever watched Kimino Nawa? You don't know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, that one is a top movie. Those who haven't watched, please go and watch. You know how many years it is? <laughs> I think it, it, it's a record breaking right down here. Like Kimi. Okay, Kimi is also. What's the English of the title? Your name. Your name, right? Very good. Okay, they don't use Anata, they use Kimi. Right? Another way of saying you. Right? Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, I also got Watashi Boku, uh, Ore, a lot, a lot, but don't worry about all this. Like Kimi. Okay? Kimi no Na. Wa. Okay, the Wa is Patika Wa. So Na is name. Right? Your name, that's all. Okay? Even Google, please go and take a look at the movie. I think come up to three years already. I think it's a quite, I watched it, I mean it's a very good movie because I heard it overtook the, some spirited away, some record, I think. so it must be damn good. Okay, please go and watch. Okay, so where are we now? Okay, number four, Denwa. Okay, I ran on Denwa just now over somewhere here, right? Okay, Denwa, it's uh, Denwa, lah, so I don't write really. Kimura to Tanaka Hanashi Temas. These two persons are talking. Both are Japanese, is it? Taro. Okay, Taro is a very common name. My name also has. It's a very common traditional name, actually, very old name. Okay, I just quickly read through. Uh, I think, Moshi Moshi Tanaka san desu ka? Kimura desu. Okay, Moshi Moshi, hello. Tanaka desu ka? Is this Tanaka? Or Tanaka san ma? Su Tanaka san ma? Because, yeah, English is one. Are you Tanaka? Okay, they again, they omit the what? Anata wa why? Why do they always omit? Because I'm talking to you, right, obviously, so there's no you. Lah. Okay, Japanese tend to omit that. You can do that also, but we, we try to omit it. Huh? Okay, Kimura desu. Why they omit watashi wa? Same reason. Okay, you don't need to say I, because the, on the phone, it's only both of us. Okay, we can understand who is who. Our context is quite obvious. Okay, ah, okay the ah, you all should know or no meaning. Ah, Kimura-san, ohisashiburi desu ne. Ohisashiburi, okay, one of our greetings. What is ohisashiburi? Ohisashiburi. Long time no see. Long time no see. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Ian Sam mentioned uh, Gonju you Nana page, page 57, in case you all don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, sorry, uh, lesson four. Sorry, lesson four. Oh, uh, conversation. Okay, long time no see. How to put him? Okay. Hisashiburi desu ne. Okay, the ne again is just how to put him ne. Okay, no, no, no translation. Oh, Genki desu ka? We know that very well. How are you? Are you healthy? Ni hao ma. Okay. Hi, Okage sama de. What is Okage sama de? Actually, what's the what's the translation in your textbook? Uh? You all can let me know. Is it the thanks to you? Uh, they, wrote, they wrote thanks to you, is it? If that's the case, yeah, okay. Oh, and textbook never say, oh, okay, never say, yeah, but correct, correct. Okay, Marian, as I mentioned, thanks to you. Okay, it's supposed to be like that. Torn in a fool. Uh. English, we don't have. Thanks to your blessings. Yeah, I think something, have, right? Have something like that, right? Okay, then what does it say? Uh? You just say yes. Uh. I'm fine. You I'm fine. Uh. Um, yeah, okay, I'm fine is the Genki desu. Yeah, if you can remember, Genki is healthy, right? Yes, I'm healthy, okay? But uh, you can say, Hi, Okage-sama de Genki desu. Or, Hi, Genki desu. Or, Hi, Okage-sama de. Okay, all this variation uh, is the same, it's all about the same thing, but up to you. You can use any, okay? Kage-sama de. Okay, Saikin Choshi wa do desu ka? Saikin is um, zui jing, uh, recently, okay, I think I read. You will see that in the future, but it's not even N5, so don't care. I think it looks something like that. Okay? Sensei, sorry, back to Okage Samade. It, it's not literal, right? As in, it's just like a tone in the pool, but it doesn't actually mean it that way. 
uh, for the thanks to you, is it Tony or Fuwa? Uh, as in, it, it means Tony, thanks to you, right? E, you can say so, uh, yeah. That's, that's one of the best translations we can do. But it's not literal, uh, like, oh, it's not, not, literal, not because literal. Tanaka helped him or what? Uh. Yeah, yeah, not literally. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, sometimes also, something that I'm also not very sure, like, we know since young, we just memorize, not able to translate properly. Yeah. Okay, especially to English, even harder. Lah. Okay, so the best they give you, yeah, is some, somewhere close enough, I guess. Okay, Cho Shi is a uh, condition. Okay, condition as in your, like your body condition, the condition. Lah. Okay, so Cho Shi wa do desu ka? Literally means, what is do? How's your body? Correct. How is your body? How is your condition? Okay. Choshi is condition, not really body. But you can assume it's your talking about you basically. How's your condition? Okay. So you can assume it's body here, right? Okay. Can be yeah, it overall. What what's the English? Oh, sorry, can I check? I didn't crop the English, so yeah, I think how are you or something, is it? Yeah, I'm not sure what the text will say, but how are you getting on lately? Um, okay, you see trans as a translator, you can translate anything close, but it's not. I will accept it. How, how are you How are you lately? Yeah, Sai Kim is really lately. Zuijing ma. Well, recently also again. How are you recently? How are you doing recently? Uh, how's your condition recently? Yeah, it is okay, it's okay. All the translation is, again, this is not literal translated, so more or less acceptable. Um, next, sorry, uh, be long-winded. Mama des, mama des, mama so so la. Okay, this is quite a useful word. Uh, people like to use mama des. Okay, to, to friend, uh, to friend of course, uh, casual mama des. Uh, okay, to, usually we, we usually say good uh, or fine, which is uh, e or e des or yo e des. Also can. Okay, so mama des, so so. Kimura san wa? Okay, how about you? Kimura san no? Okay, Kimura is the person we're talking to. Uh. Shigoto wa do desu ka? Why Shigoto? What? Mm. Your work, your job. Okay, so she go to Wado. How's your work? Just on how's your condition? How's your body? Or how's your how are you? And how now is how's your job? Okay, so that's ne. Okay, so that's ne. I think it's let me see or I see. Uh. Not much meaning. Uh. We try to translate as much as we can. Uh, let me see. It can be um, uh, something like that. So that's ne. Okay. Yeah, transition also. So, so. I think it's it. Let me see. Okay, then. Totemo isogashi desu. Isogashi is busy. Okay, isogashi looks like this. Huh? Totally Chinese. Huh? Right. This is an adjective you learn in elementary too. Okay, so don't worry about that. But if it's helpful, go ahead. Okay. Busy. Opposite of free. Free we learned before. Okay. Although I think it's also an E2. But we in our textbook we have Hima. Hima is free. As in free time the free. Okay, I'm very free, the free. Huh? Okay, Hima is uh, a non adjective. Interestingly, uh, it's a non adjective, but isogashi is an E adjective, I adjective. Okay. All right, so again, these are not tested adjectives at all. Demo, but Kyurio wa amari yokunai desu kara. Wow, how long? Taihen desu yo. Okay, let me solve the first half first. Huh? I think I go to here. Yeah, it's supposed to be here. Okay, demo Kyurio wa. Okay, uh, in summary, the whole sentence here kara, comma, something, something. Okay, so be, kara is because. Okay, because of the reason. Then the outcome is like that. Okay, because of A, hence B. Yeah, that's the order. Okay, or if I use sing, uh, in, uh, I use the other variation, you can say so la. A, so B. Okay, in other words, QDO is salary, uh. salary not so good. So Thaihan that's yo. Okay, Thaihan is very awful la, or bad, that kind of meaning. La. Okay, I think it, closer is awful. La. Okay, by itself is a bad, it's a negative word. La. Hi hand, hi hand. Okay, wow, it's very bad, very awful, very sian. That kind of translation, but as an adverb, you all remember we learned that right? It means very, right? Okay, so you can say like something like awfully something lah, something like that. It works also. Okay, so let me explain the first sentence first. Curio is um, curio. I, I think it looks something like that. Okay, you don't need to know this, but the liu li the liu same. Okay, curio actually means salary. Okay, what is your kunai? Yokunai. Or Amari Yokunai. Not so good. Okay, it's from the adjective good, uh, which is E or Yoi. This is good. Okay, negative it. Yokunai means not good. Okay, and adverb Amari, not so good. Okay, your Amari is the not so one. Uh, does it ring a bell? Okay, Kyudo is salary. And 
Yeah, Liu Li the Liu is also this. Okay, just like I mentioned about the the free time, the free is Hima. But how about free of charge? Anyone know how to say free of charge? Means zero dollar. You probably see this in Japan before. Okay, I hope I write correctly. Yeah. Wu Liao, I also see before this before in Japan. A lot of times, I'm sure. Okay, it's Mu Liao. Uh, means uh, free of charge. Zero dollar, lah, zero dollar. Okay, does it make sense? Can? Okay, min fei, min fei, sorry. Yeah. Free. Mu Liao. Okay, same word. Lah. And this Mu is the same Mu as your Muji the Mu. Lah. The, 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 the short Muji, the Mu. Wu Ying Nang Ping the Wu. Right? Okay. And you see a lot of things all linked huh? because it's the same word. Keep repeating. Okay. All right. So the reason is my pay not so good. Therefore, Thai hand is Okay, Thai hand is okay, very, very awful. Very awful. Okay, let me go to the next sentence. Finishing it. So this car. Oh, I see. Or oh, is that so? Kanada ni kyo tsukete kudasai ne. Okay, kyo kyo tsukete kudasai. Take care. Okay, one of our greetings, number 18 or number 17, we learned in the first lesson. Okay, please take care. Okay, then they add a karadani. What's karadani for? Okay, karadai is your body. Uh. Again, the kanji don't. It's not N5. I, I think it's N5. This is N5. But anyway, okay, karada looks like yasumi. Uh, sorry, missing one show only. You all realize? Yeah, I should be looking at that. I think you all know. So be careful. Uh. Anyway, it's Chinese. Uh. So yasumi and karada. Karada got a show here. I think you all know. Uh. Okay, they put karadani means take care of your body. Okay, take care of your body. Karada ni kyotsukete. Kyotsukete kudasai means take care. Okay, that's a name just uh, for fun. Shigoto gambate kudasai. Let me ask the class what is gambate kudasai? Please, jiayu. Mm, please do your best, jiayu, correct. Okay, so shigoto jiayu. Yeah, ching jiayu. La. Please, all the best. Please work hard. Okay, I can change shigoto to anything. Okay, shigoto to exam. Anyone remember how to say exam? Okay, one of the vocab was from the last of I think. You can go search search it out. Okay, or you can type inside also can. Yeah, she can very good. Okay, so she can come back to the side. You just change to any word you want to say. So this one you, that one you can really, okay? If your friend got some your something tomorrow, but you don't know what is it, you can say tomorrow you also can. Okay, Ashta Gamba Tek tomorrow. How to say all the best next week? Next week we know, right? Correct. Okay, Raishu Gamba Tek Okay, whatever your friend have next week, you can say this. Put time expression. We're gonna learn time expression later. Okay. What's yeah, the so difference? This is not a proper sentence. Sorry, sorry. Oh, what's the, sorry. What's the difference between ganbatte and ganbaru? Hmm. Uh. Okay. That one is a different form already. Yeah. So ganbaru is actually ganbarimas, which means I will tell you. Okay. I did teach you something that you were supposed to learn in lesson fourteen uh, in E two one. Your greetings, right? We didn't mention to you too much because very troublesome. Yeah. You all will have hard time remembering ganbatte te verbs. Te form means ask someone to do it, means ask you to tell you. Okay, you, you say tell to your friend gambate means ask your friend to gambate. <laughs> okay, but the, the other version gambari mas the original verb is in the mas form. Okay, then you it means I will I will do my best. You see? Okay, one okay, the te form is a request. La. Ask someone to do this. Okay, but the mas form is your you will do it yourself. Okay, yeah, gambaru means I will do my do it, do it myself. There's other forms are okay, I'll show you first. La. Gambaru actually comes from here. Gambari must. We also have gambare. Gambare, sorry, gambare. Okay, gambare is almost the same as gambate. La. Okay, all these different forms are you learn in the very, very future. La. Okay, at least E2 one. So I won't tell you much about that really. Okay, yeah, gambate, kudasai, everyone likes to use them. Okay, if you are doing kudasai, can not? Gambate, can. Okay, kudasai is just a please only. Okay, right. Like I say the conversation is a bit more complicated, uh, but uh, no issue. Uh. Hi, Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, shitsureishimasu. Shitsureishimasu is uh, shuri. La. So, uh, like, excuse me. La. They say, excuse me. Like, forgive me for being rude. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, shitsure desuka. Shitsure is the noun equivalent for excuse me. Shitsure shimasu is the verb equivalent. Okay, means uh, I'm doing this. I'm doing uh, this verb. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, Excuse me, please, or something like that. Okay. Hi, Jamata. Okay, Jamata is the same as Matane, Matane, Jane. Or what we learned is the former one is uh, Mata Ai Mashola. See you again. Okay. Jane. Okay, all of these works are in, in Jap Japanese anime, all these, uh, they use all variations of that. Okay, any question? Yes, usually it'll be very messy here, but you can look at our textbook for the translation as well. Anything else you can ask me? Okay, we are done with all this already. 
Okay, we have two com two conversations here. We're gonna start lesson five. Okay, lesson five is very easy because uh, that's why we usually teach children class first. Huh? Okay, so far any question? I think I talked too much already. Okay, let's read through the vocabulary. Okay, uh, just quickly read through. I think quite easy for you also. Okay, me, Mimi, Hana. Okay, eyes, ears. Okay, there's no plural or singular la. I or eyes, ear or ears doesn't matter. Okay, Hana is nose. Okay, what is the other Hana that we learned before? Flower. Flower. Yeah, flower. Very good. Okay, double meaning. Uh, but the kanji obviously different. Uh. If you type Hana in your WhatsApp or something, you get to choose different kanji. Uh, choose the correct one. Okay. Right. So again, okay. Kuchi is mouth. Okay, mouth. Heart, teeth, or tooth. Right. Again, no plural singular. Okay. Tag is your hand. You see that before. Okay. Ashi. Ashi is foot or your leg. Uh. Doesn't matter your feet or the lower leg or upper higher thigh. All, all these are called Ashi. Uh. It could be is neck, consider higher level already. Atama, head, toe, quite important. Okay, onaka, stomach. Karada, uh, this is the karada, the body I showed you just now. Karada, ni, kill, get that, right? Take care of the body. Okay, shippo is tail, uh, we'll use that for animal later. Okay, se is height. Okay, se is literally back. Uh, back. But we use as height later, I'll show you how, what, what I mean by that. Okay, we need to use se to describe someone's height, tall or short. Okay, uh, additional info. I'm not sure. I think nose may be N5. I just highlight first. Okay, all these are N5. Okay, JLPT N5 kanji. Okay, and these two also. Okay, I believe head is also. Um, I just highlight first one. Okay, the most consider the most shocks one. Yeah, I cannot remember hundred percent, but ninety five percent should be N5. Okay, so far so good. Okay, any questions? So we go to the next slide. I think uh, more vocabulary. Okay, next are animals. Uh, animal not tested, uh, but uh, no harm knowing. Okay, later you're gonna ask each other questions about animals already. Okay, zoo. Zoo is your elephant. Okay, anyone heard the word zoo in one piece? Yeah, it is somewhere from one piece. Also. Uh, B, B, B is tail. Uh, yeah, yeah, B is tail. Don't tell me you watch Naruto, but anyway, um, yeah, that, that's another reading. Yeah, it's something B one. You must have the something way, then we call it B. We different usage. But it's also mistake, yeah. We usually don't use it alone, I think. Yeah, correct. Okay, can. Yeah. Uh, okay, continue. Kirin. Kirin is giraffe. Huh? Okay, look at the kanji. This is the kind of kanji I always get. This one is at least N1, I think. Okay, means it's not very important. The highest level, at least 20 strokes, I think. But, uh, can anyone recognize this Chinese character? It's the beer. Yeah, okay. yeah, actually it's the beer. Okay, any this kanji is a uh chiling, I think. Okay, you know what chiling is or Additional info, I don't need to know, but just ask. It's a mythical creature. Alright, it's a mythical creature. Uh. You all can go and Google about that. Uh, uh chiling, yeah. I think mythical creature. And the beer kirin, uh, oh I think I believe uh, I think somebody mentioned they have the creature at the on the design of the can. Uh. You all can go check it out. Okay, it's really some interesting thing. And I don't know why giraffe is called kirin. It's called chiling, but that's just how it is. Okay. As a mythical creature, I think from China, if I know. Okay, next, Wani, Wani, Crocodile, Usagi, Usagi, more, more, more popular, huh? Usagi, Rabbit. Okay, Gokiburi, Cockroach. Okay, just insect, huh? you don't really teach you insect. Okay, Akachan is children, or oh, baby, sorry, baby, huh? children, Kodomo. Huh? Akachan is from the word Aka, which is red color. Okay, Aka is chi, huh? and Chan is just how we usually call children, or babies, or ladies, you remember? Yeah, so it's a bit like little, little red. Uh. Okay, little red or small red, something like that. Red color, the red. Uh. So um, I don't know, is it the, the cheeks red or the hand red or somewhere red? Yeah, the Akachan. Okay, Akachan baby. Okay, tennis is katakana, guitar katakana, because as you can tell, English word. Okay, Okane is money. N5 kanji, this thing, no? Okane, important. Okay, N5 kanji. Oh, Kane. Okay, Kane in the uh, people's name do have also like Kane. Okay, okay oh, Kane is money. You are sure to go to Japan. Okay, any question? Okay, Bankyo is study. The noun, uh, noun equivalent. We got a verb Bankyo Shima you can learn. Okay, I know it goes like min, min chiang, uh, but uh, it's N4 kanji, uh, don't you care? Okay, Nagai and Mijikai and Marui. Okay, only the. I hope I'm not wrong. Nagai is N5 kanji. Okay, Nagai, this kanji, right? In fact, can I ask the class, have you seen this kanji before? Have I shown you before? Okay, what's the other reading? Anyone can tell me. So you can remember. 
啊，社長係社長，係小波士老闆 ，OK， 社長嚟，做個 dash 啊，定係話小咩 ？OK，sorry， 哎呀 ，you are right，the company president，that that that's the vocal or boss， yeah， it's your boss 啊 ，remember， yeah， so actually we saw saw before 啦 ，we see before last time， but okay， this is the second reading 啦 ，OK， so Naga， this is the same Naga as a Nagasaki 啊，長期啊的 Nagasaki that place，OK， yeah， additional info 啦。Okay, Miji Kai is short, short for length, huh? one. Okay, Maru is wrong. Have you learned Maru before? Anyone remember Maru means what? When do we use Maru? For your numbers, which number is Maru? Do you remember? Zero. Zero, correct. Okay, your zero, three ways, right? Maru and? Zero. Zero, right? Zero, katakana. And I think somebody mentioned lay, right? Lay. Okay. Fishball, yeah, it's fishball. Actually, it's really fishball because it's round. <laughs> one, yeah, fishball. Correct. Okay, it's from yeah. We do yeah one. Okay, anyway. Okay, ah, uh, Maru is still here. Okay, itai, itai is pain. Okay, Japanese is considered adjective, ah, uh, because itai. Okay, yeah, very funny, lah. Uh. Okay, want hoshi, want uh again is e adjective. Okay, and but English want is a verb, ah, uh, it's something very tricky, lah. Uh, but we will get used to it very soon. Okay. Fuma ji men, uh, not serious, not honest. Uh, that one is high level. Don't need to care. High level. Okay, just for practice. Okay, suki kirai jose heta. Suki si huan like. Okay, like. Kirai opposite, don't like or hate. Tao yen, okay. Jose is good at. Okay, good at something. I'm good at Japanese. I'm good at basketball. Good at tennis. Okay, and bad at is the opposite. That's all. Okay, these are the four we teach children first. Uh, quite easy. Okay, particle ga is just a particle. I will show you how to use in a sentence. Okay. Daijo ga is everything. All right. Okay, using sentences then easier to, to remember. Okay, look at the first grammar. Okay, first grammar is characteristics uh, of something or someone, okay, as in something like some animal. Okay, Sato san wa me ga kirei desu. Okay, let me see what's the next one. Okay, so Sato san wa, okay, Sato san wa, this person wa, okay, can be animal also. Me, what is me, anyone? Mea. Oh, yeah, your eyes, correct. Okay, Mea, all, all sound similar. Huh? Mimi, Mea, all these uh, sound similar. Okay, Mea, eyes, yin zing, uh, and ga, kirei. What's kirei? Beautiful. Beautiful, correct. Okay, hope you all just recap adjectives on it, okay? So it's saying, uh, this person, wa, this person is a subject, wa, right? Okay, this body part, part of this person, beautiful. Okay, can? Okay, ga is some, uh, there's a few explanations now, but in this case will be the second subject, which is the I. Okay, wa is the first subject or the topic, this person. Okay, now there's another way of rephrasing it. Uh. Okay, look at the English, uh, it says, uh, Sato san has beautiful eyes. The English is not correct, okay, because we don't have the word has here. You will learn in the future. Okay, kire na me ga arimasu. Uh. Arimasu is the verb for have, uh, but you will learn that in lesson 10 only. Okay, don't care about that first. So, why, why is it like that? Okay, as a translator, it works. But literally, it's only Sato san eyes are beautiful. Okay, that should be good because our desk is what? What is this? Is M R right or Shi right? Okay, her eyes are beautiful. Something like that. Okay, something like that. It's not really her you. It's not the you are have beautiful eyes. Okay. Next, we seldom use the structure A no B wa adjective desk. You also remember this? Okay, I rewrite this. Ah, uh. Sato san. Okay, this Sato. Ah, uh. Sato san. No, me, okay, same thing, uh. no, me, wa, okay, they change to wa, it's okay, because the subject is sato san, no, me, wa, kire des. okay, hope it's not confusing for you right now, uh. okay, this is seldom use, uh, but doesn't mean not use, what's the difference, can I ask the class, okay, the difference is just a no over here, okay, no translates to apostrophe, yes, okay, so sato san, no, me, Sato san no me is actually Sato's eyes, right? Agree? Okay, Sato's eyes are beautiful. Okay, they say not seldom use. Uh, I don't really know about the seldom use, uh, but I guess it's nicer to use the first one. Okay, without the no. Okay? So the difference is wa, as I told you all long ago, wa has no translation. Okay? So the difference in translation between these two is the second one is easier. Sato san's eyes are beautiful, and the first one is Sato san eyes. Are beautiful okay can i know it sounds english but for chinese it works 
Do you have any questions? So does, the, does the first one uh, mean she looks beautiful? Oh no, it... Oh wait. So it... Yeah, got the eyes. So you can say... Okay, okay. The Very good you asked. Uh, actually, the first one translated to she eye beautiful. Does that make sense? She eye beautiful. Okay, why I translate like that? Because Chinese is the same as Japanese. Ta yan jing piao liang. It sounds not too bad, right? It's just the English word for word. It sounds very not. It sounds singlish. It sounds broken. Yeah. Otherwise, what you ask is yeah. It's supposed to be she eye beautiful. Okay. But the okay. note, yeah, does it make sense now? Now with the note, will be better because her. We need the note to say her eyes, right? This is she. You see a difference? Okay. Difference is yeah. We prefer the first one for Chinese and Japanese. English, we prefer the second option. That, that's what they're trying to say, lah. Okay. To, if you ask me, both works also. Yeah. Whichever you are more comfortable. Sorry, with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. Be yeah. any like, double meaning for example is like only her eyes is beautiful the rest of her uh, her, her body is not not pretty is that is there such a word like that oh can no then you need to put the only that i uh duck it yeah you can do that also you can do that yeah uh me and duck it only eyes are beautiful you need the only la. oh okay yeah so, so it's uh something you can do that it's possible yeah okay okay yeah, so that will be a also high level yeah question uh, just uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but then I'm just thinking like, what is the topic matter, my right? So if I'm not wrong, ba is something like used to. Is it go more in depth in the topic? Uh, can also can also yeah is that yeah can, I think can also because uh okay why and ga we have a book uh, actually it's quite it's it's very hard to explain, yeah even if you we have a book five hundred pages talking about these two particles only. Yeah, so I think it's very difficult to explain. Uh, there, there's a few explanations also. I've seen like a uh, uh, contradicting, contradicting explanation. Yeah, so have to we have to learn grammar by grammar and sentence by sentence to know when when is better to use which one. Uh, yeah, almost impossible to explain. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I think your explanation not not is acceptable. Uh, I guess. Mm. Thank you. No problem. Okay. So good question uh, because they are really hard to explain. In fact, we teach in I2, we have a summarized version of Wainga, the difference in Wainga. Okay, I think uh, somebody, uh, Marianne, so asked, do we use Suki that one or just Kirai? Uh, both are the same. Yeah. Okay, like and then you negative it. I'll tell you that later. Like and. Oh, you mean the. to describe? Yeah, I'll tell you that later. About the, you can change. Because like and dislike, you can negative it. I don't dislike and I don't like. Yeah, I can also. Okay. Yeah, I hope it's not complicated. Like, usually teachers just tell you memorize. Huh? Memorize this all this. Huh? Okay. So then again, yeah. Just out of curiosity for the Arimas, mm -hmm. is it Satu san wa kirei na me arimas? Uh, me ga arimas, correct. Yeah. Me ga arimas. Eh? Me ga arimas, yeah. correct. Okay, that one is high level. But I, I okay, based on what you say, I just write it off for you. Okay, so I think I just show something like that. Beauty. Ga arimas, yeah, mm -hmm. correct. We have beauty. This person has beautiful eyes, correct. Yeah, I can change to kuruma ga arimasu, means I have a car. Yeah, so I think it's easier already. Okay, yeah, so you can have beautiful eyes, you can have big car, small, ho uh, small house, that kind of thing. Yeah, any now will do. Ga arimasu, lesson, lesson, that you can't, lesson 10. Uh. Okay, finally, your turn to read already. Examples, so let's uh, take turns to read, shall we? Where did I stop just now? Mm. Is it Joel? Joel, Jinny mentioned it, right? So, Joel? Hey, Joel, it's on Ichiban, right? Hey, the order. Oh, sorry. Tanaka-san wa ashiga Okay, Tanaka-san wa ashiga mi Very good. Okay, so like I mentioned, uh, okay, I mentioned again, particle wa has no translation. They have purpose but no translation. Okay, particle ga have purpose also but no translation. Okay, so no translation. What do you mean by translation? Particle to translates to? Particle mo translates to? See, you all can guess. And Yeah, and very good. Mo is? Also, also okay. You will learn more in the future, like uh, by in at all these are particles we use in Japanese. But why and ga very special. They don't have don't have means. Uh, sometimes Japanese talk they can omit it, uh, okay. And because no translation also. Now, uh, for example, for example, sushi wa oishi desu. Uh, favorite example, okay. This sushi oishi oishi desu can also conversation only uh, on paper minus mark. That's for sure, okay. So without a uh, translation, I uh, cancel a bit further. It's literally saying Tanaka leg short. Okay, singlish because Chinese are Tanaka jiao tuan. Okay, Chinese sounds okay, right? Not too bad, right? It's only three words. Eh? Tanaka jiao tuan. Yeah. Okay, if you want to use the particular note, also can. Okay, instead of why is Tanaka san de jiao tuan. Yeah, 
it works also lah. Okay, but they say seldom because in Japan it's not very fluent. Okay, can we continue? Hey, right, next, Johnny, 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 then after that, keep sending. Yeah, I, uh, Suzuki san wa Hanaga Takai desu. Okay, Hanaga Takai is very good. So, ta, ta, pizu gao. Okay, he knows high lah. Okay, uh, I know English saying long, is it? Yeah, the translation is not right, is it? Uh, yeah, I think not very good lah. Because I, I, from what I know, Chinese we don't say chang pizu, right? <laughs> yeah, but English can or not? I don't know, ask you all. Yeah, not perfect lah, as usual. English maybe can, I don't know. Okay, I think Chinese we never say that. So again, it's closer to Japanese or Chinese. Okay, so is it he he knows high or his flower high? Okay, it really depends on context. Huh? I thought he has okay. an expensive flower. Yeah, I can say flower. That's the thing. So uh, don't worry. This won't be flower lah. Context we know quite well. Okay, because uh, out of this grammar also uh, this thing must be part of this person. Yeah, that is the grammar. You can see his flowers are expensive, are different already. Okay, becomes a Suzuki san no hana. Ah. Then, okay, they actually design got two meaning. I write down for you. Let's take a look. Ah. Suzuki no hana wa takai desu. Ah, this one a bit tricky. This one I have to admit, really got two meaning. His flower or his nose is expensive or high. Okay, it really depends on context. Ah. I also don't know. Okay, unless I see him, ah, then we talk. Yeah, this kind of thing always happen. Okay, Saman, right? Let's go to Kif. Kif san. And Kif your turn. Okay. Uh, Kimura san wa atama ga ides. Hmm, not atama ga ides. Okay. Kimura to hao. Okay. I mean, literally, hate is good, huh? That's other ways of saying clever, uh, but uh, quite quite high level also vocabulary. Hate is good. Then how about this person is not clever? How? Huh? Let me ask the class. Not clever. Hate not good. Atama ga yokuda. Very good. <laughs> All right. Good is E. Negative always yokunai. Okay. Or we can use bad. What is bad? Wadui. Wadui. Okay. All this kind of thing you can say people. I mean, uh, for example. Yeah. Okay. Of course, there's uh, one more, more straightforward. Say is baka You also can say that. Uh, but try not to use that also. This literally, literally means stupid. Okay. Next, go to number one. Keep your son. Karewa sega takai des. Very good. Kare wa sega takai desu. Okay, wow. Like every sentence you explain. Okay, sega takai means tall. We don't say kare wa takai desu. Okay, we don't say kare wa takai desu. Why? Why? Got a few couple of reasons, but one is, what is takai? Hi. Yeah, okay, you all know, right? Can be expensive. Huh? So, it can be his expensive. So, be careful. Okay, partly why I need to say, uh, because say looks like this. If you remember, I circled just now. And takai, you know, is gao. Okay, the back is high or back is tall means it's taller. Okay, sorry, uh, this takai. Sega takai. Okay, don't worry about the kanji. I just uh, show you. Uh, some people may be quite familiar. Okay, for high we say tall. Uh, we say takai. Sega takai. If short we say sega hikui. Okay, low. Uh, opposite of high is low. Okay, we can also say sega oki. The back is big. In a way, big size or tall. We also can say oki. Sega oki desu. We can also say Sega chisai for short. Okay, the back is small. Yeah, we don't just say chisai. Uh, it means small, a bit funny also. Okay, his big is small. Okay, why we don't use mijikai? Mijikai also means short. Okay, mijikai. Sorry, uh, mijikai is short. Is it rude or something? Yeah, it's rude. Why is it rude? <laughs> it yeah. sounds like midget. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Okay, close enough. Very good, very good. Something like that. Huh? Okay, short, mijikai. The opposite of mijikai is nagai. What's nagai? Long. Yeah, long. Okay, we learned these two today. Huh? Just only long and short. Okay, this long and short uh, is for length. Length means uh, if you see the kanji, go back to the vocab. It's actually chang gen duan. So you are saying ta duan. It's not ta ai. You see the difference? Yeah, so I think Chinese is the short can be length or height. Huh? But Chinese and Japanese, short. We have two shorts. Yeah, one is for, one is ai. The other one is duan. So that's a problem, okay? Yeah, so uh, yeah, you said uh, it's quite, it's rude uh, actually, saying it's done. Okay, but anyway, so yeah, these are the four ways, okay? To tall, dekai, uh, takai, sega takai, okay? Or sega oki, okay? Opposite will be here, uh, it's all in your textbook, okay? There's other ways, uh, dekai also have. We have a word for anime, uh, they say dekai, or deke. I mean, this kind of different forms are uh, very informal. Uh. But don't tell you too much. It's uh, hard to remember. Okay, uh, Levin, Levin, son, go one. 
Okay, I think Marion will be next one. Okay, skip. Uh. Okay, I go to Marion. Marion, can you go back? Zoa, Hanaga, Nagai desu. Hmm, okay, Zoa, Hanaga, Nagai. Very good. Okay, elephant, nose, long. Okay, it's a tongue. So, animal, this case is really long, right? Because of a uh, trunk. Uh. You know, it's tongue. Uh, tongue pizza. Okay, next, let me have uh, Nicholas. Nicholas, huh? look at Keep going, I uh, cannot hear, but I think you are muted. Hey, eh, no sound. You all, you, all, you, all, you all hear him? Can you hear anything? No. No, I think he, he unmuted. Something wrong. Uh. Okay, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I skip you first, it's okay. Next, uh, Nico, Nico, number Loku. Loku, bye. Zoa Mimi ga uki desu. Very good. Okay, so again, uh, it's three words only. Elephant, ears, big. Okay, yeah, very good. Nanaman, Sugi wa. Pauline, Pauline san? Okay, I identify everyone first. Nishinatan, Nishin, and Yuki san. Okay, Pauline, are you there? Or are you able to unmute? Okay, if not, I skip to number eight first. It's okay. Shino, Hachiban. Uh, wani wa karada ga nagai desu. Very good. Okay, karada is body, your shunti the tea, right? Okay, why this time the body can be long? Okay, yes, you all can tell. Because the, the animal is uh, lying on the floor, right? Okay, shunti chang body is long. Okay, next. Ah, uh, Pauline, Pauline is back. Hi, Pauline, number seven. Kirin wa kobi. Ga nagai desu. Hmm, could be nagai desu. Okay, so giraffe neck long, that's all. Hi, right. uh, Ying Sam? Wani wa kuchi gai oki desu. Hmm, okay, the crocodile mouth big, very good. Yuki, Juba. Can you speak? Uh, uh. Usagi wa shippo ga marui desu. Okay, very good. Shippo ga marui. Okay, so shippo is uh, with bala tail. Alright, okay, the last two, let me just read to you. Akachan wa te ga, te ga chisai. Okay, uh, baby so xiao. Okay, so the, the baby, baby hands are small. And last one, Singapore wa sento saga omoshiroi desu. Okay, what's the difference be between 12 and the rest? <laughs> Suddenly? It's a place. Yeah, it's a place already. Huh? Okay, so it works also. Because uh, it, as long as sento saga is part of Singapore, it, it can work. Okay, like Singapore, Sentao sa. Something like that. Okay, it works also. So, so don't worry about that. Yeah, part of the part of the subject A. Okay, Singapore wa sentosa. Okay. Of course, if you use no, even better lah. Singapore sentosa will be interesting. It's fun. Also can. Okay, let me go to the next side. So far, any question? Okay, later we ask each other. Could you not say Singapore no sentosa wa omoshiro desu? Yeah, can. It works also. Okay. Correct. Both are okay. Yeah, both are okay. Very good. Okay, next, uh, this is something children learn. Uh, watashi wa ringo ga suki desu. Okay, just like previous previous grammar we learned just now, it's simply this person wa, this person is a subject, then something ga, okay, the second subject, in this case the apple, suki desu. Okay, suki is like suki desu. Si huan, ah. So, Japanese order is different, as you already experienced it. Ah. So, it's literally I apple like. Okay, the order is like that, huh? but of course, as a translator, you know, like, I like apple. I like apple. Okay, so these four adjectives that we learned here good, like, don't like, good at, bad at, and want. Okay, one is E2, but I'll show you here. Suki des, I like apple. If I don't like apple, kirai des. Okay, lingo ga kirai des. If I'm good at apple, okay, that's not good at apple. Lah. Okay, good at Japanese, for example. Nihongo ga jōzu des. Okay, I'm bad at Japanese. Nihongo ga. Heta desu. Okay, just this four will do. Hoshi, I'll tell you later. Technically, it's an elementary two thing. Uh. Okay, that's all. Okay, yeah, I can change your apple to whatever you want. I like this, I like that. Okay, I don't like this, I don't like that. All right, so I just quickly go through. Of course, it's very easy. Right, watashi wa gokiburi ga kirai desu. I hate cockroach. Okay, I think someone mentioned just now, uh, Marian, some answer. Okay, if I like apple, right, ringo ga suki desu. If I don't like apple, I can say kirai desu or suki de wa arimasen. Okay, basically change my suki like to negative. It works also. Okay, these four right, these four words here are nine adjectives. 
means negative, you must change the dash to dewa arimasen. Okay. All right, I think we see the example later. Okay, number two, kare wa tennis ga hetta desu. Okay, uh, lousy at tennis, bad at tennis. Okay, hetta is not good at, or not skillful at. Okay, not good at that. Tan san wa gita ga jōzu desu. Good at guitar. Okay, watashi wa atarashi kuruma, a new car. Okay, new car ga hoshi desu. Hoshi is want. That's the fifth one that you will learn. Uh. Want. Hoshi. Okay, hoshi is, hoshi is an e adjective, I'll be careful. Yeah, that's the only difference for the fifth one and the rest. Okay, I want something. You just change your noun to something that you want. Let me ask the class. Okay, Hoshi is one. How to say I want a big house? I want a big house. Okay, you can tap out if you want and try also. Okay, everyone can think about it. Okay, Watashi wa a big house. Okay, it'll be something like Oki Uchi. Okay, Oki Uchi. So Oki Uchi ga Hoshi desu. Okay, I just changed the new car to Oki Uchi. Kamushi, see? Oki Ie also can. Okay, a new house. This is one now. Uh, big house. Okay, if I want a big house and a new car, how? Yeah, just this your to. Okay, Watashi wa atarashi kuruma to Oki Uchi ga Hoshi desu. Okay, I want this and that and this and that. Okay, next, um, let me go to the next slide. Any questions so far? Okay, so uh, questions people will ask each other will be, na, anata wa nani ga suki desu ka? What is nani? Nani is what? Okay, we got two what's, uh, nan or nani. Okay, both uh, are the same. Both kanji is this one. Uh, N5 kanji are her. Uh, okay, but when to use what is usually the depends on the particle after. Okay, so in this case ga, we say nani ga, we don't say nan ga. Okay. Yeah, that kind of thing. So usually, uh, we learn one at a time. Uh, when to use each other. Yeah, sometimes uh, can be this, can be that. Okay. Okane ga suki desu. I like money. Okay. People say like what? Like money. Okay. Next question. Okay, I don't care that anata watashi. I just I and you talking to each other. Dare ga suki desu ka? Why dare? Who, right? You like who? Okay. Ryoshin ga suki desu. I like parents. Okay. So people ask you like who? You say people. People ask you like what? Say, you say things, okay? But in reality, in real life, doesn't matter. I ask you, uh, what do you like? Or you can say, I like something, someone, okay? It doesn't really matter, lah, but uh, depends on context also, okay? Seven and eight is the same. Nani ga kirai desu ka? What do you don't like? What do you hate? What do you dislike? Shigoto ga kirai desu. Okay, I hate work. I hate kongzuo. Okay, number eight. Dare ga kirai desu ka? You hate who? Or who do you don't like? Fumajime na hito. Okay, I hate not honest people, not serious people. That's all. Simple. Okay, so nani ga is just question word for asking. Okay, not really asking question. I just it's just a sentence structure. Yeah, because I like money, then you like what? The money change to what? That's all. Yeah, at least all these are other examples that quite easy to understand. Okay, later gonna ask each other questions already. Okay, last grammar already. Lesson five very short. I don't know why it's so short. Okay, probably because uh the two grammar are the same. Okay, watashi wa atama ga itai desu. Okay, so it's the three words, right? Let me ask the class. What's watashi? Ai. Ai. What's atama? Hit. Is it like that? Huh? Yeah, correct. Hit lah. To ah. Just not kanji is all hit, right? Hit. Then what's itai? Pain. Pain. Pain, right? So literally, I hate pain. Yeah, okay. Or uh, wo tou tong. Okay, wo tou tong sounds okay lah, but I hate pain sounds very singlish, right? Okay. Yeah, wo tou tong. That's all. Okay. Actually, it's the same grammar as just now what we learned. Watashi wa atama ga Oki desu means what? Tato. Yeah, tato. Uh, my head big uh, or I have a big head, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, you can, be, be, before that, we use a lot of adjectives, right? My head is big, my head is small, my head is beautiful. But now we use another adjective, that's all. It's the same as the first grammar we learned. It just changed to pain. Okay, Japanese adjective, pain is an adjective. Huh? Okay, so it's the same structure we did just now. Yeah, simply change to any other adjective, that's all. Okay, all right? So with that, uh, we can truly see all the examples same. Uh. Watashi wa atama ga itakunai desu. What's itakunai? Okay, negative of pain is not pain or no pain. La, okay, so wa toputong. Right? I know English you say I don't have a headache. Can la, can. Okay, English got the word headache, but Chinese, how do you say headache? Toutong. Yeah, toutong. Uh, this is actually is uh, again closer to Chinese, but don't worry, just memorize. Okay, there's another word for headache, a high level. I can't remember now, but. Yeah, my, my toe tong and toe putong, or oh, my toe tong, something like that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Huh? Okay, so everything is just, watashi wa onaka ga itai desu. Okay, now I stomach tong, tuzu tong. 
Okay, my head pain, stomach pain, everywhere pain. So, watashi wa onaka ga itakunai. Okay, stomach, not pain. Okay, or no stomach pain, no stomach ache, doesn't matter. Okay, I think you all can understand me. Next, yonban, tan sa wa ha ga itai. To, uh, teeth pain, yatsu tong. Okay, ashi ga itai, jiao tong, leg pain. Okay, me ga itai, eye pain. La. Okay, so basically, again, it's just another adjective. Okay, yen jing tong. So, Chinese and Japanese sounds okay. La. Again, yeah, sorry, it makes a bit of English. Huh? You want to translate properly, you can. Uh, her, her eyes are painful. Uh, her eyes hurt. That kind of, uh, it all works. La. Okay. Okay, same thing uh, is this person or animal we saw just now. Then the body part, okay, part of this person. Got any adjective. Okay, sorry, I know the best. La. Okay, simple. Okay, if you don't know the body part, then how how to tell the person, tell the doctor your that your here pain, that pain. Okay, use point lah, right? Coco. Actually, it's T fang lah. Coco ga itai des ah, your here pain. Maybe somewhere in the muscle or something. You just point. Coco ga itai des. Okay. Okay. Can you can, can you also not use a no wa in this case? Uh, actually, can is can. Can is can. Let me think uh. Can can. Actually, you can. Okay, but uh, they I like they say they rarely use lah. You say te wa itai. Can can. Hand pain, yeah, hand, hand hurts. Actually, can. So, uh, so we're touching on that. Yeah, I don't think it's quite nice, I think. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, question? Body parts, you should always use. Uh, uh, apparently, it's nicer. Like, let me think. Uh. Yeah, should be better. Should be, it, it will be better. Okay, well, I can. Okay, I'm using Japanese context to explain to you. Uh, why is it better? Okay. You say watashi no te wa itai desa. Why do you say seldom use that? Okay, I can change my adjective. Uh. This case, itai adjective, right? I change to suki des. Okay, it will be. It, what will it be? It means uh, my hand likes something. Okay, I rewrite the whole thing uh, to make you to make sure you're not confused. Let me show you an example. Should I put it here? Um. Uh, okay, I use I put it here. Uh. So watashi no te wa because I don't want my hand to be subject. Okay, my hand is supposed to be the second subject uh, something like that. Uh. It will be very confusing to explain. Okay, but I use a comparison. Okay, you say watashi no. Te wa suki desa. Maybe we can still understand, uh, partly because wa is telling the subject is my hand. Okay, but proper sentence, right? It should be watashi wa. Okay, watashi wa te ga. For example, for example, suki des means I like hands. Uh. Okay, very random example. Uh. Okay, yeah, I am the person performing the, 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 the this case, the adjective. Okay, so the grammatically is a bit not advisable. Because it can be my hand like something. My hand like something, yeah. Watashi no te wa, like for example, lingo ga suki des. Yeah, my hand likes apple, something like that. Okay, so we don't advise that. Lah. But I can tell you context, lah. We, we first thing we know what you are saying. Lah. That won't be an issue. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, that's roughly to it. Can any any other questions? A bit, it's very hard to explain because it's quite high level and you need to know how the sentence structure works. Yeah, can. Um, okay, I'll give you another example. Okay, just now we say watashi wa. Okay, lingo ga suki desu, right? Okay, it means uh, um, adjective. Uh. Okay, I like apple. Okay, in the future you learn, actually we can omit this part. Lingo ga suki desu. Okay, if the person who spoke, spoke speaks this, uh, it means the person likes the apple. Quite straightforward because the I is omitted. Okay, you can also omit, omit this. You omit the apple, which means uh, it becomes watashi wa suki desu. This one. I like, but I like what? I didn't mention. Okay, I, I took out this pair. I like something. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so hence, if you use this format to use replace I with my hand uh, and, and use itai instead, uh, a bit becomes like, yeah, grammatically a bit off, although translation can be about the same. Okay. Can a bit tricky. Uh. So let me, let me see if I can do it. Like yeah, I try again. Uh. Watashi wa. Okay, watashi wa. Because of Japanese problem. Uh. Because English suki is a verb. Uh. Like is a verb. You see the issue. But Japanese is an adjective. Pain also. Pain can be a verb also. But they use it as an adjective. Yeah, English is a verb. But in Japanese, it's an E adjective. Okay, and non adjective. Okay, there's some complication between these two languages. Uh. Hence, uh, we have to explain. All right, if I go back to the example, my hand hurts, right? Watashi wa. Te ga. Itai desu. Okay? Right? Watashi wa te ga. Itai, that means my hand, this hand hurts. If I don't want this pair, means I hurt. Yeah, a bit. Uh, not I'm 
hurt, but yeah, doesn't really make, very hard to explain. Uh. Yeah, a bit tricky. Okay, so we try to memorize first uh, how how does the preferred textbook sentence structure works. Then uh, it will be more easier to comprehend afterwards. Okay. okay, so in summary, all the why and ga. Yeah, if I tell you, sometimes it's a bit contradicting. Like I tell you, okay, you, even you can go on YouTube and check it out how other people explain. Sometimes it's a bit contradicting. But one of the common explanations is this is the subject. Yeah, and this is part of the subject. Okay, ga is part of the second, or rather the second subject. Can also, one of the explanations is like that. Okay. Yeah, I will say not 100% subject. Yeah, so I think that's, that's about it. Huh? Okay, so then the adjective test. Okay, based on the examples after examples, I think uh, it's quite easy to understand because like I said, Chinese are, it's just this person, this part is something. Okay, we don't have a translation for wine ga. Yeah, so technically three words only. No? Okay, like ta yi to fa chang, she hair long, something like that. Okay, very hard to tell you properly. Okay, so, so yeah, yeah. Okay, I think our textbook at the end got 61 and 62. It explains it. But I can tell you after you read, you still won't understand one. Yeah, that one is higher level stuff. Uh. That's why I think they put what for your information or something, right? Okay, it's really our syllabus thing. You can go and take a look. Yeah, usually we ask students to rec uh, memorize first. Because there's a few, there's a few contexts we have to use. The meaning ch the explanation changes really. Yeah. Okay, you all take a look at 61 and 62 after the class. Uh. Then you let me know what you all think from there. Okay. They got something like I think if I'm not what oh, as for this person, I discovered something, something wow. It's a bit cannot explain. Yeah, it really depends on sentence. Uh. <laughs> yeah, can be something very different also. Okay? Can? Yeah, so I encourage you all, after reading, you all may, not, you may still don't understand. Yeah. Don't go and memorize this. Uh. Usually, we just use the examples. You can you can get a pattern really. Okay? I like this. Because uh. we teach children, we cannot explain all this also. Yeah, they will... I mean, we won't even bother to explain to them. Uh. You just say, oh, uh, watashi wa... Eh, a Pikachu Gasuki desa. What what can one more can I explain? I don't really want to explain also. Okay. So something like that. Okay. Easiest like Pikachu is the second subject. That, that's one of the possible things that we can we explain to children. No, we don't explain to children. We just say this is I like Pikachu. Okay. Suki is like. Okay, if I hate Pikachu, uh, Pikachu ga kirai desu. Okay. In fact, uh, okay, sorry, another additional info. Like is suki, right? Why is I like a lot? I like a lot. Okay, nice. hey, very good. Okay, that, that suki ah, I just okay, our syllabus ah. Suki is how ah. If you want to say like a lot, common way we say dai suki. Okay, this dai is the ta which we learn is the o o key the o same kanji right. This is a second reading only dai suki. Okay, of course if you based on previous knowledge we can say totemo suki. Yeah, and tai hen suki des. Ken is ken ah, but we prefer to use dai suki. Okay. Daisuki and suki uh, can also be used for confession. Uh. If you watch anime, they just uh, go to the guy or the girl, suki des or dai suki des. I like you. Uh. Okay. Then if you hit the person, opposite, dai kirai. Okay, I hit you, or sometimes like you know, people play a prank on you, then you just call it dai kirai, or uh, tao, tao yinle, or tao yin la, something like that. Okay, a lot of context, uh, but in general, suki is like and kirai is don't like. Uh. Okay, and you can negative it. That's change to that one, I must say. Okay, quite interesting now. This uh, Suki use a lot. Uh. Dai Suki use a lot. Okay, can any questions? Any other questions? Okay, we can technically don't need to go into too detail. Uh. But if you want, again, please go and look at the last two pages, like Ian's animation 61 and 62. Then you can discuss again. Okay. Uh, which is more confusing. Okay. I think. okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry? Can I just ask? Uh... Yeah. Uh, why is it uh, Japanese? Uh, usually you cut out certain words out. One, uh. Cut out certain words? Uh. Yeah, is it your whole sentence? Watashi wa te ga itai. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, then te wa you can omit it, right? Sometimes uh, when you omit the word and when you don't omit the word. Sorry, uh, what word you omitted, you mentioned? The why is it? The why you did, uh, okay, watashi wa, you, uh, you can omit it. And then ah, yeah, yeah, ask, watashi wa, uh, I can omit it, yeah. Correct. Oh, you're asking then Ringo, Ringo also can omit it when you answer a, a person's 
just oh if you okay if you don't if you don't say the lingo uh wait, wait what's the question you don't you don't ah yes you don't mention okay. the apple uh, you means you say what's you want yeah there's no apple at all i like mm. yeah but why you like you never tell me ma. It's, it's you can omit it's okay man. Mm. you know what i'm saying when your conversation yeah, so, with, what you want to say with, yeah but, uh normal conversation right so how do i know that this person know what i'm talking when i'm having a conversation with them by taking up this word taking up the other the other word you got what i mean uh, can you give me an example okay like for example i'm talking to you uh like a conversation uh. All right. so if i were to can i just uh i mean i mean a conversation i Take out the ring low, then I uh, know. Take out the the watashi. What then? Just that Con- ring low to key that's o- is okay one ha. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me give you an example. I just look. I I talk, I'm talking to you now. I just tell you. Uh, Doraemon ga dai suki desu. Okay. So you all should surely know lah. Your teacher me likes Doraemon. Can? Okay. Why don't you watashi? Of course. I I'm I'm talking ma. I'm saying. Yeah, if I want to say uh, that person like or the uh John like Mary like, I will mention her his or her name for sure lah. That one is for sure man. Correct mm-hmm. A third person I will mention the name. Okay, if I talk to you one to one, is of course I like cannot be. I if I say you like, I will mention your name lah. That's that's something, something oh. that is quite. Uh, you have to think oh, when the person say, then you should know surely by right. Yeah, mm-hmm. the eye is omitted lah most of the time. Yeah, but for. Yeah, can can. It really depends on when they say it out, then you will know on the spot. Yeah, this kind of also cannot explain one. Eh? Really cannot explain. Yeah, because I understand that uh you can take away uh certain words at certain points uh, which sometimes you don't you don't know which are the things that you cannot uh, remove. Is it about the context? Then you you just supposed to fill it in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now like you say take out certain words. Um. Actually, is if I if based on the context, it's usually uh we take out I and you uh, Yeah. I and you we usually usually omit that uh. mm. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So okay. Not so complicated yet uh, I guess. Okay, <laughs> any question? Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. You have to practice uh. in class. Uh, in class will be easier. Uh, I guess. Um. Yeah. Okay. Can so yeah. Okay, let me go to the next one. This is the Do Butsuen, which is the zoo. Okay, more about animals. Okay, I quickly read through with your I think oh no. Okay. Right. So Tanaka and Lim are talking. Okay. So we always teach you like so we have Watashi Anata, but you see conversation between two persons, no need. Because there's only two of us. Yeah, there's only two of us. So it will be quite obvious. Quite obvious. Okay. So Tanaka san are wa nan deska are is that. Okay, what is that? Okay, what is that? Then Tanaka replied, Let me ask the class, what is that? What is that? Giraffe. Giraffe, very good. Okay. That is a chiring. Uh. That is a giraffe, not the mythical creature. Actually, it is double meaning. Uh. But anyway, Chiring is Kubi ga nagai. Kubi ga nagai desu ne. Okay, Kubi is jing xiang, uh. neck. Sorry, I mix a bit Chinese. Okay. Giraffe, neck is long. long. Okay, the neck okay, is up to you. Uh. Okay, okay, wow. okay, anyway, what is Zo? Zo. Okay, so yeah, very good. Okay, it's your elephant. Okay, Ta Xiang. Zo wa Hanaga Nagai desu. Okay, nose is long. Okay, again, it's just nose and then long, adjective and your body parts. Okay, once you know, you know. Ah, Saru desu. Saru is your. Okay, Saru, monkey. Okay, an animal that we never see in the, in the textbook. Early on, uh. okay, but Japan also famous for monkeys also. Ah, the ah is just surprise. Uh. Ah, uh, is that oh that's a monkey? Yo, okay, yo more like exclamation mark. Saru wa banana ga suki desu. Can you translate this for me? Monkey love banana. Very good. Monkey love banana. Okay. So again, si huan some more lingo ga suki desu like apple, banana ga suki desu like banana. Okay, and kono doubutsu en wa this zoo. Honto ni tanoshi desu ne. Honto ni is really. Okay, honto is really. Uh, so, like, 真的很 enjoyable. Okay, tanoshi is fun or enjoyable. 
Okay, it's really fun. Okay, you don't want to use Hontoni, you can also use Thai hand or Totemo. It's very fun. Okay, very fun. Uh, also can Totemo, also can very, very. And what's the difference between very fun and really fun? Okay, both are okay. You can interchange. Japanese like to use Hontoni a lot. So, okay, so it's really fun. Really fun. Really fun. Really fun. Okay, Tanaka san wa doubutsu ga suki desu ka? Okay, Tanaka san, do you like animal? Okay, notice they don't use anata wa, they just again repeat the friend's name. Okay, Tanaka, uh, do you like uh, animals? Okay, eh, suki desu. Why is this eh over here? Okay, eh is the same as your height. Okay, it's yes, uh, but uh, it's more, they say, elegant or more nicer. Uh, eh, suki desu. Okay, it's like, instead of saying yes, you say ya, yeah, ya, yeah, all this kind of yes. Okay, All right, because we don't want everything hype, 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 a bit overly formal, a bit quite quiet also, like, everything hype. Yeah, not all the time I can mix hype and air, okay? It's air uh, because of the hiragana air. Okay, not e, uh. Okay, air, suki desu. Yes, like, okay, toku ni inu ga dai suki desu. Toku ni, right? This is the kanji, uh. additional info. But some of you can notice quite easily. Tebiye shi, toku ni inu ga dai suki desu. Tebiye shi go, hen si wan. Okay, yeah, they use dai suki here. Uh. I like a lot. Okay, so let's go. I see. Watashi wa tori ga suki desu. Why is tori? Bird. Yeah, tori is bird. Okay, again, another, another animal that, yeah, tori ga suki. I like bird. Okay, chicken is also bird. Uh, that's why we got yakitori. Uh. Okay, grilled bird. Grilled chicken. Ja, kirai na doubutsu wa nan desu ka? Kirai na doubutsu, actually, it's the animal that you don't like. Okay, why is it in this order? Because kirai is tao yen, uh, hit. And na is our third, tao yin and dong wu system. Okay, or you can memorize this. Uh, Kidai na do means animal that you hate. Okay, or, or I use English again. Uh, hate the animal is what? Okay, like if, if the animal that you like becomes suki na do butsu, like si huan dong wu system, or like the animal is what? Okay, English is a bit off, uh, so sorry. Yeah, but well, I can try to memorize that. Okay, hebi ga dai kirai desu. Hebi is what? Okay, below got right snakes are uh, so uh, okay snakes I hate snakes a lot. Lim san what? Lim san no? How about Lim san? How about you? Atashi mo hebi ga zen zen suki ja arimasen. Okay, zen zen means totally. Okay, or one chain uh, It must end with a negative at the back. So I totally hate it. Totally, totally don't like it. Okay, right? We learn uh. Okay, what is zen zen? Atsu kunai desu. Means not hot at all. Totally not hot, uh. so must end with a negative. Hot becomes not hot at all. Okay, zen zen is totally uh, must end with a negative again. I think it's mentioned at the bottom also. Totally don't like at all. Okay, ato. Okay, and uh, this one is an add on uh, and gokiburi mo kiai des. I also hate cockroach. Okay, or rather word for word, uh, uh, cockroach also hate. Yeah, it's a continuation of previous now. Uh. Okay, zhang lang ye tao yin. Okay. Okay, any questions? Again, these are some, some new things to for you to see and just see you again. Uh, don't force yourself to make my well. Okay, any questions? Okay, somebody are mute to answer question. Okay, again, some of these parts are not part, part of the syllabus, but it's always good to teach your new stuff already. Okay, actually, lesson five is done already. Any questions? So you said, we, we said, you know, Dobutsu, one on this side. Correct. And we hit. So could you use it for other things in the question? Like, could you say, uh, they, uh, Kirei no na tabemono wa no. Ah, can, can, can. Very good. Yeah, you can change your noun to other thing. Kirei na tabemono, tauye na shu 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 mo. Can? Any noun to do. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, some, something that you hate. Yeah. The animal that you hate, the food that you hate, the drinks that you hate, the person that you hate also can. Tauye na ren shu shu shu, that kind of thing. Yeah, it works also. Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. Yeah, it'll be a bit tricky. High, higher level for you. Okay. You can rephrase this. Uh. Let me help you all a bit. Kirei na dobutsu wa nan desu ka? You can rephrase to do na. Dobutsu. How do you ask? What kind of animal do you hate? Ga kirai desu ka? This is the one we use in textbook more. La. It's the same meaning. Okay, maybe this one easier. What kind of animal? Right? You can change what kind of food do you don't like. Yeah, we will do that. Okay? Yeah, both are okay. The difference is uh Yeah, it's like uh ni tao ni tao yin zen yang de... Oh, versus uh, yeah, it's, it's just a different way of saying the same thing. Okay. Again, it's just uh, what kind of animal do you don't like? And what's the animal that you don't like? Yeah, it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. Okay, both are okay. Okay, okay, technically lesson five is done, but let me go through something that will be useful for lesson six now. Alright, 
one, okay, time, uh, we are going to learn how to tell time in the next lesson. Okay, let's go through the 1 to 12 o'clock. Okay, all you need is a number and add a G behind. Okay, Ichiji. So Ichiji looks something like that. Ichiji. Right, so Ichiji. Uh, sorry, what happened? Ichiji, Niji, Sanji, Yoji, Goji, Rokuji, Shichiji, Hachiji, Kuji, Juji. Okay, 1 to 10 first on. Any special case, you'll just take a quick look. Yoji, Kuji. Okay, Yoji. It's not Yonji or Shiji, uh, so please be careful. Okay, just take note only. Uh, this kind of thing, uh, we also notice that uh, you will just remember somehow. Okay, and Shichiji, 7, right? We use Shichi, we try not to use Nanaji. Uh, Okay, try not to use. Not that it's wrong, uh, but I think rarely hurt also. Shichiji. And Kuji. Kuji is nine. We don't say Kuji, so be careful. Okay? Yeah. Hey, Juji. Juji. Juniji. Nanji. Nanji is what time? Uh? Okay, a very popular question is Ima Nanji desu ka? What is Ima first? Now. Yeah, now. now. Okay, so now what time? Literally, it's at uh, Okay? Ima Nanji desu ka? Later, I'll ask you that question. Uh. Right, so of course, uh, you don't want to know only o'clock, right? You need to know the minutes as well. Let's look at minutes. Okay, sorry, Hyaku Go page. I think page 105, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, 105. Okay, we'll touch on this again next lesson. Okay, one minute to, um, okay, basically one to 59. Uh, you need to know one to 10, then you can say every other, every minute really. Okay, how to say one to 10 minutes? Okay, don't worry, tester is nearest five minutes. Okay, just look at five minutes first. Five minutes is Go Fun. Okay, Go Fun. 10 minutes. Jupun. Okay, so five is F. Uh. Five is F. Go fun. Ten minutes is Jupun. Double P. Okay, so be careful. That's the difference. Okay, we tell you nearest five to just need to know nearest five because one to ten. Where 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 is F? Where is P? You all take a look. Uh. I just read, read through. Uh. Ip pun, ni fun, san pun, yon pun, go fun, lok pun, nana fun, hap pun or hachi fun. Uh. I think hap pun is easier. I tell you why. Hap pun, q fun. Jupun, okay. If you want to know, one six eight ten is double P. Okay, two five seven nine is F. Okay, then what's missing? Okay, three and four. They only one P. Okay, you want to memorize this? You can go ahead. Yeah. Okay, it's very troublesome because of the you see the fun and the pun. It's just it's the same word. Sometimes sometimes got a circle. Sometimes got two dots. Yeah, that kind of thing. So again, we will memorize in E two. Only and for JLPT and five, they will test you this. Right? Uh, Sarima said. Right? Shizuma, uh, any question? Can I ask, um, so, you know the uh, Jupun, right? Yeah. Jupun. And then you look at the Hiragana, right? So yeah. the small Z is in front of the U. P. Correct. But the in, when you read it, the Romaji is double P and not like double U. Uh, okay, yeah, because it's double consonant, not long, not vowel. It, it, it only exists in KSPT. Oh, what's what's yeah. what KSPT? Uh, like double, P, double K, double S, double P, double T. Oh, yeah. yeah so that's not double U. Double, yeah, that, that's what oh, I mean. Double U, you just put U. Right. Double U will be a dash, a long vowel. Because uh, vowel is R, U, L. Yeah. So maybe oh. that's the difference. Lah. Yeah. Yeah, so textbook did mention uh, it, is saying, it says long vowel and double consonant. Uh, that, 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 that's what they mean. Uh, and the consonant only this four. Always this four. Mm, I, yeah. I, I. Yeah, only this four exists. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe now it's clearer already. Correct. The double, how to spell consonant? Something like that. Okay, consonant. Yeah, okay, only these two. Uh. Again, uh, we don't really tell you uh, when to have, when to have. The vocab have means have. Uh, so that kind of a bit memorizing. Yeah, because like I tell you, uh, have and don't have different word entirely. Okay, my favorite example is like I say kit kit there and kit there. Okay, when got double T, oh I tell you stem is called kit there. So uh it's like we give ch children spelling now. Uh, we tell you stem is kit there. So you just need to you actually memorize the, the vocab stem means kit there or that's all. Yeah. And kit there actually the, the other kit there is come. Okay, different word, different word. Yeah. And again, like I also tell you uh, when Japanese read fast. Uh, both sounds the same. Yeah, both sounds the same. So how? <laughs> yeah, again, context. Lah. Okay, you need to know the vocab first. You know, kit the stem spelled like this and it's supposed to be written like this. Kit the. Okay, of course, you do your homework right a few times. Uh, you will start to come back to your recall. Lah. Yeah, if not, you may forget also. Okay? Yeah. 
So that, that's for that's for it. Okay. And why uh why got K and why got double P and here and there? It's also not much explanation uh, usually. Yeah, it's I, I remember it's got to do with history and usually children like I mean like me, I learned since young. I just I also I don't know, I really don't know. Maybe we can Google and let me know what's the real answer for this now. Okay. Yeah, some say it's because when in the past when they read it's already like that. Be, that before before spoken, uh, there's no written. Yeah, it's always there is a spoken first before they have the written hiragana. So yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, you really look at long history. Uh. Yeah, I can tell you, I also memorized. Not not somebody can Google, let me know next time. So why 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 got double P? I mean why got F and P and T and yeah. Okay, quite quite tricky. Uh. Okay, but uh, just to take note, uh, yeah, we only test you nearest five minutes. Okay, so go fun is go fun five uh f okay it's fun not fun uh, f u n fun okay jupun. Once you know nearest five, you can tell me the multiples of five. Right? What's fifteen? I'll take a look at fifteen. Ju go fun. Ju Okay, so we say ten first. Ah, ju go fun. Okay, the one is that that's affected is only five. Yeah. Okay, you solve your tens first. Ju go fun. Then twenty five minutes. Okay, Niju Gofun. Okay, do you see a pattern? Okay, Niju Gofun. Yeah, you can just take a look at the numbers and uh, yeah, we can just know the five minutes because you don't want to. If I ask you 12 minutes, uh, you need to go and find out. Uh, yeah, of course, I know uh, like 12 minutes, Juni Fun. Okay, yeah, if you know, you memorize. Yeah, the one you need to memorize in elementary too. Okay, but for E1, no need. not too many things for you to remember. Okay, how to say 30 minutes? Okay, over here, San Jupun. All right, double P because of multiples of 10. Yeah, Jupun, Ni Jupun, San Jupun, Yon Jupun, Go Jupun. Okay, right, you can also say Han. Han means half uh, or pan. Right, it's usually after a time. Uh. Let me tell you, what is Ni Ji Han? 2 30. Correct, okay, because Liang Tian Pan. Yeah, the Han is 2 o'clock half. Okay, Chinese also Liang Tian Pan, but English we don't say 2 hours half uh, or 2 o'clock half. Two and a half o'clock. No, no such thing, right? Okay. Yeah. Again, this is just uh, some some reference from Chinese also. Okay. Then Sanju Gofun, Yonju Pun forty, Yonju Gofun, right? Forty five minutes. Go Jupun. Okay. Multiples of ten always double P la. Yeah. So so that's all the. Okay. You all can just go and read through. Okay. I will ask you all every now. My favorite question to ask the class every few minutes is the timer. Right. Question to everyone. Ima Nanji desu ka? You can type out. Everyone has a different answer, I believe. I assume. Imananji. Oh no. Okay. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I have something to do. Sorry, I got some quiz. Okay. Can you type an answer? Imananji I expect everyone has a different answer. So. Sorry, uh, sorry, guys, give me a minute. Uh. I need to do something first. Just a minute. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Okay, that's actually uh, yeah. Okay, very good. So everyone has different timing. Uh, so no right or wrong because uh, that's why I tell you to learn nearest five minutes because in real life, right, I think nearest five minutes is not too bad, uh, not too far from the actual time. Okay, uh, of course, try not to round to the nearest hour. Uh, it can be very, very different. Okay, can. So uh, time, uh, since uh, homework can try to memorize your time, it'll be useful. Okay, because you go to Japan, uh, definitely always rush of rush, rushing for time. Uh. That's what happened to me every day, uh, I guess.
Yeah, they have some time to go somewhere and all this. It will be useful. Okay. Mm, test of time. Wait, one more time. Oh, yeah, I just asked you already. Okay, so test of time. Uh, just try one. Uh. Can you all tell me what is this time? How do you say 7.15? Yeah, maybe ask some special case also. Yeah, I'd like to just ask the nearest five minutes. It's not very troublesome. Okay, it will be... Okay, return, right? Of course, uh, in Japanese primary one or primary school, right, they will tell them to write in kanji. La. Okay, but for us, uh, not very practical. La. Okay, I'll just show you first. La. Okay, we usually in Japan, we just see this. La. Okay, so I think numbers anyone can re recognize. If not, it will be shichiji. Okay, shichiji. Jugofun. Uh, okay, because multiples of five is F. Jugofun. Okay, numbers, any issue? Yeah, very good. So I'm going to talk about yeah, okay. Ah, okay, look at uh 445. Okay, you'll try again 445. Some of you mentioned uh, but be careful. Okay, Yoji is correct, four o'clock. Okay, Yoji, right? Remember it's not Yonji, not Shiji, Yoji, Y O uh. Yoji 45? Okay, you need to say 45, uh, which is Yonju Gofun. Okay, you need to say Yonju Gofun, uh, not Yon Gofun. Okay, so be careful. Okay, if you say young go food, it means uh, uh, 4 o'clock, 4 5 minutes. Yeah, it can be 404, 405, something like that. So be careful. Okay, yeah, that kind of thing. So I write again the whole thing. Huh? Yonju go food. Okay, you okay. need to say the 40 first. Then, yeah, because it written, it should be uh, Yonju go food. Okay, any question? So it's right. So that's okay. Next, uh, Monday to Sunday is not tested, but I would like you all to know because children know that since young. Like, how do we know Monday is spelled like that? How do you know Wednesday, Wednesday is spelled like that? Thursday is spelled like that. Can I ask the class? How do you all know? Memorize. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, that's, that's what I mean. Okay. So anyway, we memorize that somehow. Or when we were young, primary school, just spellings, then we, we memorize for life. Really, okay. So it looks like this in Japan. Okay, it's quite interesting. Let me ask the class. Where do you see this in Singapore? This kind of characters. The very old calendar. Okay, the very old calendar. Is it? Uh, okay, I'm not very sure, but okay, I assume Luna. so. Luna. Luna. Yeah, Luna, correct. Yeah, Ju yeah Ju German, C German C, all this. Yeah, correct. Your feng, your feng shui, la, huh? all this, correct. Okay, we don't really use it, la, but Japanese use it every day. Okay, every day. So, planets. Yeah, you're right. Actually, the planets are so same. They use the same also. They use the same as Chinese, like Ho Sing, Sui Sing, all this correct. Okay, but they use this. Uh, when you do your homework, you can write this symbol at the corner to tell which day you did, la. Okay. Okay. This is all your Monday gets yobi, kaiyobi, suiyobi, mokuyobi, kinyobi, doyobi, and nichiyobi. Okay. These are your different days. Something I will maybe ask your next lesson as well, right? Uh, of course, if you can guess, uh, cause a little bit Chinese also. Moon and sun also same, right? You notice Monday is moon, Sunday is sun. Okay, I think there's some link to all the languages in the world. Okay, Kayobi is Tuesday, uh, fire. Okay, Wednesday is Suyobi. Okay, Thursday. Yeah, okay, all these days is on top. Huh? Okay, something to think about is uh, Sui, right? This kanji can be read as Mizu, N5 kanji, Mizu. Okay, by itself is Mizu, uh, which means water. Yeah, some people already know, right? Very good water. Okay. Moku itself is wood, uh, but this the other reading is what? Anyone remember? Ki, very good. Okay, you saw Kimura, right? It means tree. Uh. Okay, all these easy words I just tell you. Uh. The rest, uh, don't worry about that. Okay, kin. You saw it just now. This kanji. Kin actually means go. Go, uh, really. Kin is go. Gin is silver. Okay, the other reading you saw just now? Kane. Oh, kane. Very good. Kane, right? Money. Uh. Just now we saw something like that, right? Money. Oh, kane. Okay, which means money. Yeah, this kind of see This, okay. I, sorry, I didn't mention. Your kanji, right? N5 kanji got 103, right? The first 10 is 1 to 10. Okay, 1 to 10. Followed by all this. Okay, I assume you know how to recognize all this. Uh. Hyaku, Sen, and Man. That's 13 already. Plus this 7, right? It's 20. The first 20 of the first 100. Okay, that you actually need to know. These are N5 also. Okay, so as a practice homework, like, whenever you do something, you just write your calendar. Write your date first, then write the symbol. Just write one simple, okay? Because in Japan, in Japan, you will go to a shop, uh, they will probably print something like that. Okay, I write here, uh, hope you all can see. Okay, the dot means N. Uh. Okay, can I ask the class? What does it mean, for example? Yeah. 
Okay, it actually means uh, Monday and Tuesday, this opening hours. Okay, if you don't understand what, what, is, what is this, uh, you, then you don't know what's going on. Uh, you come at a close day, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, yeah, so these symbols are quite useful. So again, uh, not tested in elementary one, uh, but I uh, encourage you all to go and take a look. Okay? If you're not sure how to write, you can write it. You can check dictionary as well. Okay, so how to remember Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. Okay, other than memorizing, there's some way you can, um, you notice uh, the, the moon and the sun is separated. Uh. Okay, like really like Monday and Sunday, right? Because moon and the sun separated. Okay, and the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, some can recognize though is actually earth or ground, earth and the sun. Okay, and Friday is kin, is gold. So some people, maybe Friday is payday, I don't know, that kind of thing. Okay, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, how, how I memorized when I was young, uh, it's actually uh, fire is weak against water, water weak against wood, then wood weak against fire. Okay, you don't know you understand what I'm talking about, but anyway, just remember. <laughs> Like Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my time one, yeah. Okay, most know. Uh, so again, by hook or by crook, somehow you will memorize. Uh, okay, so so don't worry about. Just, okay, find a way. Okay, not tested, not tested. Okay. All right, that's your all the days really. Okay, and yeah, you see a lot in, in Japan. Okay, there's something also. Uh, there's there's also Yasumi. Right, rest this country. Right, sometimes they may put something like uh. Though uh Saturday close, that kind of thing also have. Okay, I think you can rec recognize some kanji symbol would be good also. Yeah, in different different format lah, but the days will be the same. Okay, can so okay this page on one zero seven. Okay, I would like you all to go and take a look. Okay, next lesson will be easier for lesson six stuff. Okay, these are the days. I think we learned some already. Kyo is today. Okay, today is here. So today then tomorrow ashta. Two days later asate. Okay, three days later, four days later, that's in elementary two, uh, next course, so don't care about that. Okay, how about yesterday? Kino. Ototoi is two days ago. Okay, three days ago, again, the out of range area uh, is not in E1. Mainichi every day. Okay, Mainichi every day. Measure. Uh, this kind of kanji is quite easy also. Okay, then what is the three paragraph below? Okay, page 107. Okay, Ototoi no Asa. Okay, just tell me first, Asa is morning. Hiru is afternoon. Ban is night. Okay, so I'm saying, uh, Ototoe no asa, it's just combination of two days ago and morning. Okay. Kino no asa, yesterday's morning. Okay, do you see a pattern? Ashta no asa, tomorrow's morning. Tomorrow, a prosophia's morning. Yeah, okay. Again, this is for you to go and read now. Asate no asa, it's two days later's morning. Okay, Chinese will be the same, right? Zuo tian de zao shang, ming tian de zao shang. Right? Hiru is afternoon. So it's same. They just repeat the six again. Okay. Yesterday afternoon, today afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. And the night, same also. Okay. Ototoe no ban, kino no ban. Okay, do you see any special cases? Take a look at this one and this one. Yeah, it's shortcut. Uh. Okay, can we say today's morning, kyo no asa? We use today kyo. We can also, but we don't say today's morning. Uh. We just say this morning. In English also got shortcut, right? We don't say today's morning. We say this morning is okay. Right? Uh, like jing tian zao shang. Okay, but Chinese is a bit different. Uh. But English and Chinese and Japanese combine will be the same. Tonight, do we need to say today's night? Mm, we can, but okay, let's say if you want, you can say la, kyo no ban, a bit silly, but it's acceptable. Okay, if not, just konban. Konban is tonight. Like Chinese, right? How do you say tonight in Chinese for those who know? Jing. Yeah, okay, you can say jing wan. Actually, kanji is the same. Okay, wan jin. Uh, demo, you can also use jing tian la wan shang. La. I mean, jing tian wan shang. Yeah, uh, variations, okay, both are fine. Do you know this combat? Have you seen combat this word before? Something close enough? Combat. Correct, combat wa comes from this word. Uh. In fact, wa is actually particle wa. Combat wa means jing wan hao, something like that. Good evening, okay? Then how about good afternoon? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, very good. Okay, look at combat wa is jing wan. Uh. Konnichiwa actually is from this one. Kon, same kon, but nichi is your Sunday nichi will be all this one also. Every day, konnichiwa. It's actually from how how are you today and how are you tonight? Something like that. The word of origin is from here. Okay. Again, we don't tell you all this so much at the start. Uh, if not, you'll be lost really. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So my ban every night, every every one. Okay. My asa every morning. We rarely say my hiru like, every afternoon. We usually just say my nichi every day. Because English day also is afternoon, like, technically. Okay. Yeah, this kind of additional stuff. Huh? Okay, we'll touch on this again next lesson. So don't worry if I spoke too much. Okay, all the time expression will be useful. Okay, this one uh, you can go and read. Yeah, just now was days, right? Yesterday, today, tomorrow. Now is weeks. Okay, go and read. Like, Senshu, last week, Honshu, this week, 
Lai Xiu we use a lot, right? See you next week. This is where it comes from, right? next week, okay? Then Man also same. Sang gets it, Con gets it, Lai gets it. Okay, you can see the kanji may be a bit familiar also. Sang gets it last month, Con gets it this month, Lai gets it next month. Okay, same, same page, uh, 107. Okay, year a bit different. Okay, you can do a, take a look. Kyo nen last year, Kotoshi this year, Rai nen next year. Only next year is the similar as the same, using the Lai. Rai gets it, Rai shiu, Rai nen. Okay, but Kotoshi is this year. Okay, we don't say Kon nen, so be careful. Yeah, just something to think about. Yeah, I think, I think this, this three range will do. Okay, don't need to know the two months ago, uh, two months later, two weeks ago, optional. Just know these three in the middle. Okay, last, this, and the next. That's all. In 107. Here you'll find a pattern. Let's keep repeating. All right. So this is the Monday to Sunday. Okay. So of course, do you remember your Monday to Sunday? Okay, those, I'm sure a couple memorized already. Huh? Okay, of course, go back to check. Huh? Nichiobi, Getsubi, Kayobi, Suyobi. Okay, it's just like how we memorize all this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in English. Huh? Okay, Chinese is the easier one, right? Chinese just since E, since E, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't mention that. Huh? Yobi is the day. It's uh Xingqi or Li Bai also can. Okay, this is the day. So if you say Ka Yubi, what is Ka Yubi? Can I ask the class? Hmm, Tuesday. Okay, yeah, I'm sure some of you already know. Uh, Tuesday is Ka Yubi, right? Then Su Yubi is? Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Uh. Okay, again, just check our textbook for the day for now. Okay, it's not tested, like I said, it's Tuesday. Yeah, so this is day. Uh. Yubi is day. Okay. Yeah, and then all the Ashta Kyo today, Ashta tomorrow, all these are things that you can find in your textbook. All right, so again, day is actually next lesson, but uh, just recap with you. Teach you some first. Lah. The next look will be easier. Okay, before you go to your breakout rooms, any questions? Okay, I'll also upload this. Huh? And there's only one practice. I need you all to ask each other. Maybe a bit difficult, but let's try. Huh? Okay, something what? Dona, do butsu desu ka? What is dona? Still remember? Dona. What kind? Yeah, what kind? So, what kind of animal is something? Okay, first of all, there's no katakana involved. I'm sure some of you all know, but I just list out some first. Okay, lion. This is katakana lion. Okay, I tell you what, you all just use English first. Okay, if you know Japanese, even better. Yeah, okay, we go through some. Lion, lion. So, lion, what? Dona, dobutsu desu ka? Okay, you want to search, please search for adjectives or use the adjective we know first. Okay, because adjective you learn in textbook. Okay, if you don't know, just go ahead and check dictionary. Okay, uh, big, small, doesn't matter, anything that you can say. You can even use to describe body parts that we did just now. Okay, I'll give you an example. Okay, like you can say neck uh lion wa oki desu. Okay, it's big, uh, use adjectives. If you want to make it harder, you can say neko wa something ga something desu. Yeah, you can describe parts of the animal if you want. It'll be another higher level, but practice among yourselves, then we learn from each other also. Like we did last lesson. Alright. Okay, what is bear? Teach you some animals. This is what I teach children. Can you read Hiraga? Kumamo. Kuma. Kuma. Yeah, Kuma. Okay, Kumamon is a black bear cartoon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For Kumamoto. Okay, yeah, Kuma. Okay, katakana, I think you just, katakana just stick to English. Uh. Actually, it's almost the same. Kangaru, something like koala. Okay, don't care. Uh. Just use English if you if you don't know. Okay, what is pig? Hiragana. I should say hiragana. Buta. Buta. Uh, buta, very good. Okay, buta ni ku. Uh. Okay, shima uma is a uh, zebra, but uma itself is what? Horse. Uma is horse. Uh. Okay. These are some additional stuff to teach you, not even tested. Okay, monkey, we saw just now monkey is? Saru. Saru, okay, Saru. Okay, tiger is? Tora. Uh, Tora, okay, in fact, you see below, uh, there's a katakana version, so taiga also can. Monkey, it works also, uh, you know, like monkey, the, the monkey, monkey de la fuite. I mean, the, okay, uh, anyway, English all works also, let me see about other. Okay, giraffe, last one. Okay, we saw it. Yeah. Ki, kiri. Okay. Girafu also can. Uh, let's say girafu here. Okay. So you're going to ask each other already. Okay. If I ask you girafu uh, or kiri wa dona do putsu desu ka, you can tell me in Japanese the giraffe neck is long or giraffe is tall, giraffe is cute. Okay. If everything is cute, you can answer something already. Okay. All right. So, imane. Uh, okay. You'll type out something. Okay. Now, let me see how many people. Oh. Okay, 18 people. I guess, okay, one group can have six people. Okay, I so I need uh, six of you to, the last six to stay back in this group. The rest can join the other two rooms, okay? This itself is one room also. Lah. Okay, so you can, those you can, those one leave this room, can leave this room and join the, the other two rooms, the breakout rooms. Okay, and you can start talking to each other. Already. All right, the same practice as usual. Okay, I know not everyone will be joining, lah, but you all just, just try. Okay? 
practice and uh, not not practicing you can also listen to your friends yeah it will help you in your talking and listening as well okay you can start joining the two rooms already i'm gonna mute the the main main room already okay not done yet. all right so again your practice until you are done you can just leave okay see you all next week Don't ask me i'll be still here listening to your questions you can ask me okay. Hello, shall we start? Yeah, yeah, sure. There's only four of us, or oh, five of us, so I sure. guess Keith can ask Levin. Um, uh, I'm sorry, but how am I meant to answer? I wasn't really listening. So, um, Keith, for example, will ask you Kirinwa Dona Dobutsu Deska. So he's asking you, like, what the what do you like about the giraffe? Can I just say I like it? Yes. So you can say like the giraffe is cute, or the giraffe has a tall, long neck, oh, or you can okay. just say it, yeah. Okay, I get it. Sorry, Dobo is a animal. What kind of animal, right? Yeah, so you can you also like describe it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, can I start? Okay, I just pick anyone. Uh, uh Puta wa dona dombuzu deska. Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, what do you say? Wait, which animal do you say? Uh, buta. Buta is a pig. Buta. Uh, buta. buta wa dona don buzu desu. Buta wa kire desu. Is that good enough? No. Okay, I, I talk. Be Buna Buta wa Denga. That's something like that. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I guess I ask someone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the next one is Nicole. So Ryan wa dona to desu so you're asking me about the lion, right? Uh, yep. Oh no, this is so hard. Lion wa uki des. So the lion is big. Okay, so now I'll ask Pauline. Kuma wa dona dobutsu desu ka? Sorry, which animal again? Uh, kuma, bear. Kuma bear to uh I will use the one on the top that sensei right right Kuma wa um, Kuma, what? I really don't, don't know how to answer. If you want to use what Sensei wrote, then it has to be Kuma, what? Something of his, then something of his death. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any shortcut? So you can say like Kuma, what? Mini, ga, uki desu. 
so it's what's Mimi? Me so it's like um bear year big. <laughs> so it's like kuma wa mimi ga kuma de uh mimi wa mimi ga uki de. Uh, kuma wa Honto ni tano shi Let's Can that be? Can you translate? <laughs> uh, it's fun <laughs> I just pull out the word the bear is fun, funny animal. Uh, okay, so maybe you wanna ask Yuki uh animal. Yes. You should now ask Yuki an animal. Okay. Uh, let me find an animal. Oni. 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 Crocodile is Oni. Wani. Huh? Wani. 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 What? Dona. Dobutu Deska. What is the meaning of Dobutsu? Dobutsu is animal. But then it don't sound right. Eh? Hmm? What do you what mean it doesn't sound right? What kind of animal is it? Like lion. What, what kind of animal is the lion that is asking? Oh, so that means I'm asking what kind of crocodile it is. Ah? No, what kind of animal is the crocodile? So what is a crocodile? Oh, okay. So oh. what is a crocodile? Probably you answer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, wait, eh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> water, water, water me. <laughs> but how to uh, say? Wani wa shippo ga tsuyoi desu. What does it mean? <laughs> the tail is very strong. Ah, okay, it's good. Oh. Uh, then, Yuki, you need to ask a question. Oh, ah, Tora ga, it Tora wa donna dobutsu desu ka? And then I think, I think Keith answer. Keith. So yeah, Toru is a tiger. Tiger. Okay. Toru. Toru wa. Tora. Tora. Sorry. Okay. Tora. Tora wa. Hmm. Torawa Magica Cades So what would that translate to in English? Uh, English The tiger is short okay. Is that correct? I, I, I think so 
Maybe. I also think so. <laughs> Okay, so soon I ask another question. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, Saruwa Dona Dombutu Deska Monkey. Saruwa Saruwa Shipoga Shipoga Shwea. Okay. Saruwa Shipo ga stay my desk. So the monkey's tail is narrow. Okay, so now I'll ask Ravin. Uh, Penda wa dona dobutsu desu ka? Panda is Dinmo? Uh, I just said Panda. Uh, Panda wa uh, Kubi ga uh, Nagai des. Is that correct? What does it translate to what? Uh, it translates to the panda's neck is long. Yeah. Okay, then I think I asked a question. Okay. Um, Pauline Sun. Yeah. Uh, right. Horse. Horse. Horse, eh? Horse wa dona to butsi deska. Ah, horse wa. Hoswa Kubiga Nagai Des Nagai. Yep. Can I be? This is uh, it is long. Body, body, body. No, it doesn't. Mm. Cola, 
科拉，瓦多纳多布兹达斯卡，科拉乌德。哇，多纳多布斯达斯卡。哇哇。耶呼，呼安萨。啊呼啊呼安索安萨。波拉哇，哈纳卡奥基德斯。ラクダはどんな動物ですか？啊，不常见。Sorry, just now the the animal is. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I say, no. why don't why don't we just end it here for now? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. bye bye. Show. Okay, bye bye. 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 Uh, sensei. Sensei. Yes. Sensei, are you still there? Hello. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, Pauline, yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, Prof. Can you consider a question? That is, is there any way that I can、uh, get a dictionary that can do the English、uh, Japanese translation? Uh, uh, Pauline, give me a minute. I'm giving me a minute. Hold on. Hold on. All the ten countries, and then I will include China. No, because some students consider China as part of ASEAN, which is wrong. Okay, just you should not put all of the above as options. If you take out all of the above, we don't know what to choose. But you put all of the above, so your question is wrong. If you take all of the above, choose a proper, proper. Proper answer. So are you the are you the only one whose answer is none of the above? We need to. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Okay, so seven. Thank you. 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 Thank What is your recommendation? Yeah. Uh, for which one? For the, I mean, the Japanese English uh translator 